Yep. 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 Am I muted? Might be. I'm not muted too. What's up? What's going on, y'all? What's the deal? Give you all you need. Give you all you need. Recording is now in progress. It is Monday, November 29th. It's eight o'clock Eastern Standard Time. So you know that means Market Mondays is here. Shout out to everybody that's tapped in with us too. What's up, Ernest? What's going on? Hopefully everybody had a safe and amazing holiday weekend. They got to be with family, loved ones, friends, uh, and got to share time. Quality family time is important. So hopefully you got to share that. Shout out to everybody that was in New York City this weekend. Oh, we got some things to talk about. <laughs> Legendary moment, <laughs> legendary moment to kick off the Market Mondays tour. Yeah. Uh, yes, definitely. Showtime at the Apollo. If you was there, I know you witnessed a legendary night. If you wasn't there, that. yeah, if you wasn't there, make sure you check the next one. Don't ever, ever miss an event because it's nothing like an in-person experience. So that's the, yo, I'm telling you, man, like that was the overwhelming theme and people watch it every Monday. But the people that watch it every Monday and came to see it live were just like, man, that was a different experience. Yeah. Like the totality of it was just like, yo, this is overwhelming right now. Before we before we start this episode, let's um let's definitely, you know, give our condolences to Virgil Abloh. Yeah, yeah. And yeah. his family. Um, a huge inspiration for not only people in the fashion world, but creatives, people in business, musicians, everybody, you know, he really impacted. The culture was a very young man, 41 years old. And um, we actually, we, yeah, we actually spoke about him on an episode. Absolutely. Um, like almost two years ago. So, you know, he obviously was an inspiration for us. And somebody that we was definitely look, looking forward to connecting with, I felt like that was only a matter of time before we ended up connecting with him. So yeah, I know you, you did your tribute with the sneakers. Yeah, yeah, man, obviously. I mean, just more than culture, just like life. Like you're talking about an amazing human being. Everybody who's met him, who was encountered, who's been around him, was just talks about how he was amazing in BM. I actually stood next to him a few times. I, I shook his hand once at, uh, at a Kanye show. Um, obviously he's part of, he was part of that Kanye crew. So he was doing the, the soundboards for some of the shows and I just got lucky enough to be next to the soundboard. So amazing, uh, amazing human being, obviously, you know, as a, as a sneaker head, we're going to pay tribute to the sneakers, but also the Kanye artwork. Like he was integral in, in a lot of the, the covers for the artwork. I know he did this one. He did the, the Washington Throne. The chain. Yeah. He did, uh, West Side Guns, uh, ASAP uh, Rocky, ASAP Rocky, just, just a, an amazing artist and human being. Yeah. A tremendous loss. I was in shock when I saw that text come through. I think Ian, you sent the text out first, yeah. and I like, like, nah, what? Um, so definitely, rest in peace to him and his wife and his kids, because we're talking about somebody that we've lost in the art world, but they lost a father, a husband, somebody lost a son, um, and uh, there's no replacing that. And so may he rest in peace, uh, and you know, prayers and condolences go out to his family and friends. Absolutely. So um, let's let's get into this. Um, yeah, we talk about the Apollo at the end, but it was a legendary moment. So thank first and foremost, thank you for everybody that came out Friday. Y'all Saturday. Love y'all. Um, thank you to everybody that played a part in the show from DJ Sus One to DJ Kamish to Fat Man Scoop to Styles P to Joel Santana to Jim Jones to MG the Mortgage Guy to Janet. Um, all of the people that played a major part in it. Of course, us. I don't know. That's kind of awkward to give yourself a shout out, but <laughs> shout, shout out, out to the dog. Shout out to us. <laughs> yeah, I, I really shout want out to like say me. Yeah, ooh, shout ooh, out ooh. to us, um, myself, Troy, Ian. Um, shout out to Ashley, our amazing event planner. Um, shout out to the Red Panda family that was in the building. Shout out to Dream Team. Shout out to the whole entire EYL, Mike, Bam whole Greenberg, our whole neighborhood was there. Shout, shout out, out to, to my to, sister. Uh, the talk your ish guy. I got to catch oh, yeah. Talk your ish. Yeah, that's a button you're now. A legend. Yo, you're a legend. And, and shout out shout out to my wife, Danielle, and shout out to Abdullah, man. Oh, yeah, shout out to Abdullah. The yeah. amount of headaches we probably caused them over the past three weeks. I apologize. I owe y'all some, some drinks. 
maybe some aspirin. <laughs> yeah, so, so we thank you wholeheartedly. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Shout thank you. out, shout out to everybody that came through. Shout out to my parents. Um, your, and your yeah. pops got a standing ovation. Yeah, yeah. Shout Did out. You talk about that. Your pops uh, is cool, nah. dude, man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. He too cool, Pops man. Too cool. He too dude. cool. Like he, he, he looked like he, he had waited that for that moment. <laughs> like, yeah, yeah shout out. Dude. Now that was that was big for us, man. Um, you know, being able to perform at the Apollo Theater, which there's a lot of history with the Apollo. You know, all of the major African American black performers from Sammy Davis Jr. to Michael Jackson to Ella Fitzgerald to you name it to Biggie Smalls Victoria's to Nas yep. to Jay Z. Um, they all have grace to stage the Apollo. And at one point in time, that was the only place where black people could actually perform in New York. That's why the Apollo became so big, Apollo Cotton Club, things like that. So the Apollo has so much rich history that, um, you know, financial literacy, who would have ever thought that not only could we actually do a show at the Apollo, but we can sell a show out at the Apollo mm. um, on Black Friday in the middle of a pandemic. Mm. Um, but something that, you know, I thought was I thought was really big for the culture um, and it was very encouraging. So. Yes, before we start the show, I just wanted to just, you know, express my gratitude and, and just, thank you know, you thank so everybody much. that show, has shown us support, everybody that continues to show us support. Um, we really, truly appreciate you guys, for sure. Yo, shout out to Mike B. Oh, yeah. <laughs> shout out to Mike B. Stylist <laughs> of all stylists. That's my brother right there. I got I got his hoodie on, by the way. Yes, uh, I, I seen that. That's why yeah. I, I was like, we can't Bro, get you Mike came, B you came through with that 96 bad boy mace. Oh, <laughs> well, you, you know, we've been inspired by a lot of people. Bad boy, for yeah. sure. I wanted to make sure Puff saw that. You know, he's an inspiration to us. Shout Mace to inspiration Diddy. to us. We in shout Harlem. Out, shout out to Mace. Shout shout out to I, I, I was like, yo, Mike, I need that bad boy 96 vibe. And it just so happened he was part of that that time period where he was making those clothes for them. I said, we got to do it B.I.G. style. And yeah. so came through with hard. the leather. Shotty came through with the velour. It, it, it felt like like a concert. Like It's like, yo, we want to see was. that drip. Yeah, it's like, we got to see that drip, man. That was a very legendary day. So, all right, I'm going to get into this. Um, Oh, yeah, we just got the emails. Um, So everybody will be added to the sniper program. Just have to be patient. We just got the emails because we didn't get the emails um, previously because Mm -hmm. they was uh, it was through Ticketmaster. So we had to wait till the show was over for Ticketmaster to give us the email. So everybody, you know, um, just have some patience. But everybody was taking care of Friday the latest. You guys be good. Yeah, you'll be good. Um, all right. So, Troy, disclaimer. Yeah. Well, first, we got to talk about our good partners at Ally. Shout out to Ally Financial. It's a leading digital financial service company with passionate customer service and innovative financial solutions. They are relentlessly focused on doing it right and being a trusted financial service provider to both customers and community. So get with Ally to make the most of your money so you can save, invest, and spend on the things that matter to you. Shout out to the good folks at Ally always supporting uh, us here at Market Monday. Love y'all dearly. Yeah. And before we go into this claim, let me just say one thing. Um, we have an event this week. Um, Art Basel, shout out to our good friends at United Masters and shout out to Ally for sponsoring that. So if I could just talk 30 seconds about why this is so important, it's like, you know, this is important, not just for earning your leisure. It's very important for the financial literacy space because, you know, when we do events like Event Invest Fest or the Apollo, we're, we're not really competing with anybody. We're just, we're doing an event and we're really competing with ourselves, which that within itself is a challenge. But when you look at our Basel and you look at over 50 different activations, everybody from Rock Nation to the NBA to, you know, Nike to Adidas, Def yeah. Jam, you name it, Adidas, everybody has an activation. There's a lot of stuff going on. So if a financial literacy platform can have the most lit activation, if we can have a packed house around around the corner every single day, that, um, that, that really adds a strong legitimacy to this financial literacy space and the whole financial literacy community. So it's extremely important. I want everybody in Miami to come December 2nd, December 3rd, December 4th, um, from 3 to 11 at Freehold, Freehold mm-hmm. in um, Wynwood in Miami. We will have musical performances. We will have DJs. We will have pool. We will have drinks. We will have panel discussions talking about NFTs, crypto investing. The master investor will be on a panel. Um, we will be hosting fireside chats. We can't release the names yet. Every day. Every day. Um, so it's going to oh, be baby. all day from 3 o'clock to 11 <laughs> o'clock every day. Make sure that you're there. We're going to be talking at 4 or 5 o'clock. So make sure you get there early. And get there early because there's not a guarantee that you <laughs> won't be able to get in. So how much, you didn't tell them how much it costs. It's free. It's free. It's free. It's RSVP. Yeah, <laughs> but you you must RSVP. 
<laughs> RSVP. The link, the link right. is on our website under yeah. the Art Basel tab. I'll pin it here in YouTube also, but go to earnyourleisure.com, go to Art Basel tab. It's going to be a very, very legendary event. Um, shout out to uh, United Masters. Shout out to Ally. I want to see everybody there. Oh, Miami, so we love y'all. Pound sign, wrap the block. Yes. <laughs> wrap the block. And, and, and it's going to be a very legendary wardrobe situation. Oh. All right. <laughs> Troy. I got announcements real quick. Well, yeah, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Yeah, you go. You want to do disclaimer? Do disclaimer. Yeah, go ahead. All right, so do your own research, folks. Y'all know that. Uh, our content is intended to be used and must be used for informational purposes only. It's very important to do your own analysis before making any invest investment based on your own personal circumstances. You should take independent financial advice from a professional in connection with or independently research and verify any information that you find on our show and wish to rely upon whether for the purpose of making an investment decision or otherwise, please do your own homework, please. Ian, the floor is yours. This is a message brought to you by the good folks. Oh, can, can, I, can, I, can, I, can I the good brother? <laughs> Ian can I say one, investment. one more thing? One more thing. I forgot. Yeah, go tomorrow, tomorrow, we have an international episode. Shout oh, out you got to talk brother. about that. Shout out to my brother, David O. Um, he is one of the biggest yeah, Afrobeat artists in the world. And eight o'clock Eastern Standard Time, two o'clock in Lagos, the episode comes out. But... The episode is not just about music. Um, David O, if you don't know, his father is a billionaire, not a not a millionaire. Would it be? His father's a billionaire. And his uncle and his godfather is the richest black person in the world, Aliko Dangote. So he obviously comes from a very rich family tree, literally. Um, so he, he <laughs> we're talking about business. We talk, you done we're talking about the tech climate. He's a tech investor in Africa. We're talking about the political climate in Nigeria. Um, how people from America can come over there and, and prosper. Very eclectic conversation. And he also promised us to get an interview with his uncle, who once again is the richest black person in the world. Um, he said he could make that happen with no problem. Easy. So easy. check out that interview tomorrow. <laughs> easy. That's, That's the pro. And then, black billionaire edition soon comes. Yes, and then, and then my brother... Uh, Andre Hatchett is teaching a class for EYL University this Wednesday on modal notary. How hey, I'm, you said EYL University. I'm glad you said that. Shout out to everybody who joined EYL University over the past couple of days. You are in for a treat this week. This Sunday, December 5th, we have our book club with a guest by the name of Charlemagne the God. Shout out to see the God. He will be a part of the book club. Why? Because his book is the book of the month. Shook Ones is our book of the month. And Charlemagne is coming to sit down and have a Q&A about the book. A good talk brother, to our That's super major. That's so you came at the right time. Make sure y'all there. Sunday at three, I know Jan's going to come in and tell you what time the listening that's, party is. That's legendary. Incredible stuff. Going that's on. legendary. Shout out to Charlemagne. EYL University. We only we only accept the best. Charlemagne, I appreciate you, brother. All right, Ian, Thank the floor you, is yours. Uh, Troy, you put on a phenomenal performance on uh, Friday. Shoddy. Phenomenal performance, Matt, Janet. Phenomenal performance. Just want to say thank you. Thank yeah, you. Love y'all. Um, our balls, I'll be there Saturday at 4 p.m. Please don't miss it. If you missed uh, Apollo Live, I'm sorry. This may be your chance to make up for it. <laughs> um, shout out to QDZ and Fuzzy. Check me out on the FAQ podcast. Thank you, Styles P again, uh, for coming through um, and being a part of Red Panther Anthem and, and killing the stage. Stock Club deal. I know some of you missed out at the Apollo. We'll talk about it later, but you guys will have a chance to join for only 300 a month. Shadi will put the link in. And then I'll be on the 85 South Show December 14th. Now, I wanted to... Ooh, oh, that shot yeah, out. Shot nah, out. Yeah. You just don't breeze yeah. over that, bro. It, you you shot, shot it? Chat. You shot it already? You did it already? No, we're, no, we're going to do it on the 14th. Okay. Oh, that's going to be fire. Yeah. Shout out yeah. shout out to the guys. The 14th? Yeah. I might, I might come down. Yeah, we might come down for that. Shout out to the guys. Shout out to you. It'd be a nice little vibe. Us dream team, you know, <laughs> yeah, this is yeah, gonna yeah. be a war to a thing real soon. Um, <laughs> shout out to my Def Jam family and Dreamville family. I wanted to um give an apology to Michael Batnick personally. Um, Compound is one of my favorite shows, and before I even did a podcast, they were two of my favorites. I do want to say something, and at the time, man, if I could have did this rant two hours earlier, it would have went a lot different. I'm gonna say this. When I invite somebody on the show, I am begging you, treat my guest with respect. I'm going to say it one last time. 
You guys have no right to disrespect anybody that comes on this platform, especially if you are not a better investor or trader than them. So if you love them and you, or you love me, whoever I bring on, you have to love as well. If I see any disrespect to me, any guests or anybody in Red Panda, I will block you for life off this platform. And nobody on earth will be able to stop me. You're talking to, and I'm gonna be real. This is the reason why some of the biggest people in investing don't wanna come on. That's your answer. Why can't such and such? That's why. YouTube, clean it up. We'll go to all pre recorded. This is not a democracy on how this runs. Please do not ever do that again with any guests that we ever invite on here. If I've helped you and I made you money, show respect for the people that I brought on or I'll shut this shit down. Are we clear? Don't disrespect anybody we bring on because we don't have to do this, man. I love y'all, but don't do that. Especially with somebody. You realize, Josh, if he wanted to, and he won't. If Josh and, and Mike wanted to, they can block all of y'all from every investment job on earth that y'all wanted to be a part of. Be careful who, and when Troy and Rashad, you don't know who I know, that's real. That kindness thing means a lot. A lot of people, careers get ruined because they're not kind and you try and do underhanded stuff. And then on the back end, people see it and they don't like it. Be mindful. So I'm gonna get out my feelings, but I'm gonna tell you, do not disrespect any guests on this platform ever again. Let's have a great show. The best brought there, to you, there you have by it. the good brother. Yeah, done lab, the master. There master. you have it, ladies and gentlemen. He got six billion dollars under management. He alone probably knocked out 280 million dollars last year. Learn and from him from what he's saying. I promise you. Good vibes. Yes, please have some etiquette, ladies and gentlemen. Please, please. No, please, please. No, it's important. Please. It's important. Yeah, we, we got to be more respectful of the people that come on. Here. It's, it's obvious. Um, and we try to ignore it. Like, we're professionals at it. We've been doing it for two years. He turned his everybody, head to watch the game because er, of y'all comments. Yeah. Every, everybody, everybody doesn't handle the situation the, the same way. So, yeah, people are cognizant of the things that are being said in these chats because they're looking right at their computers a lot of times. So we just got to be mindful of that. And, again, be respectful because people are taking time out of their days, out of their evenings to be away from their families to come – give us information so just be mindful of that and and let's let's just let's just keep this thing as positive as possible i appreciate y'all yes okay or you will be blocked please please keep it cordial i don't want to upset right. rashad my, my he's man, in a good mood, man. He's glowing in a good mood. <laughs> don't get me a shoddy upset. He's in a good mood. <laughs> same time. Don't play with me. Don't make me have to mess I'll go thing, straight yo. to barbados and y'all will never see me again and 10 years later be like yo the kid got 3.3 that crystal ball really worked. Mm -mm. We're not doing that. Come on. Y'all wouldn't go a mad money and do it. Yep. And they ain't got half the great advice that you got for me. Don't play. This is true. This is true. Um, okay. What? I'm trying to. I'm trying to. <laughs> Shoddy, like, stop, <laughs> bro. Yo, he's crazy. Like, he's really crazy. <laughs> they always like, oh, yo, Troy, why you laugh? Because I know, like, I know him so well. So I'm just laughing because it's that. Nah, nah, nah. Remember when you came on with your notepad, you had to do some straightening? <laughs> nah, nah, I respect nah, you it. I respect, some straightening. It. I respect yeah. it. You know, every now and then, you got to, you know, ain't nothing but a little yeah. bit of straightening. We need a soundboard, bro. Because I would have played straightening right there. Ain't nothing but a little bit of straightening. Ain't nothing but a little bit of straightening. Shout out to Quavo. Shout out to Quavo. We, we can swap it out. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> that was a good one. 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 Um, all right, all right. Let's 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 get into let's get into this conversation. Um, I want to talk about uh, Twitter and Square to start the show off. Um, so we've been talking about Square for the last couple of weeks. Yep. Today, Jack Dorsey news broke that Jack Dorsey is stepping down um, as CEO um, of Square. Yeah. So, a what does that mean? And now is it is it time to buy um, Square? <laughs> How fitting was it that he made, he put it out in a tweet? <laughs> <laughs> he made a tweet. Yeah, hey, well I, I heard there was news that I'm leaving. I am. <laughs> Can't tank the stock. <laughs> Got to leave on, on good terms. You know, um, short answers. I've been telling you guys Square is a new JP Morgan all year. Um, interesting fact, I was listening to Josh Brown early on CNBC and he was like, when he took over, CEO, the stock price is at 45, eight years ago. Today, 
It was at 45 bucks. There is no competitive advantage that Twitter has over Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, Snapchat, Tinder, Bumble, YouTube, which is part social media. Um, I told you guys here a couple of weeks ago, you see that crystal ball glowing real bright um, that he was either going to have to merge them or leave and just run one. Square would be the obvious pick. The value is a hell of a lot better. And because, of course, uh, how valuable Bitcoin and crypto is going, he picked the better player of the two. That's why I tell you guys, like, you need a competitive advantage in the business for it to be viable for you to put all your time, energy, and effort it, into it. Ian, let me just, let me just uh, correction. Um, he stepped down from Twitter, not Square. Yeah, Twitter, Twitter, let Twitter, me Twitter, just, Twitter. Let me just correct yeah, I, that. I, thought, I thought that's what you said. I said, I said Square. Oh, okay. I'm sorry. I, I had you befuddled by my anger. I'm good now. <laughs> no pineapple juice. I'm straight. I'm not going to go off the rails. Shout out to Ally. I got it together. Um, I got the purple in the back for y'all. See you all, Brazo. Uh, but Square is amazing. I've been telling you guys forever. And even when PayPal dropped first, you were like, hey, is Square going to Square's going to rebound faster because it's a better company? Hold Square yeah. for the next five years and you will be A. OK, I promise you. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, you want to. So the, the stock opened in 2013 at like forty one dollars is now at forty five dollars. So you're talking eight years in the stock. Has I, moved. Know it's, I mean, it hasn't made any money. Right. So if you've had that stock the entire time, you've gained pretty much nothing. Um, so they, they just couldn't figure out a way. They have a large user base. They have the biggest one of the biggest voices in social media, especially sure. during the that presidential cycle. Um, but they just, they just didn't have the money. So people were like, hey, well, he's leaving Twitter. He'll have more time for Square. Right. More time for Square means more time for Bitcoin, which he said is if he wasn't doing either. That's what he was spending his time. So the ride has been on the wall, right? So I'm just taking you down a timeline, right? Of how they've been, he's been hedging this thing on the whole time. So in 2018, uh, Cash App, which is owned by Square, starts allowing users to buy and sell Bitcoin. In July, they created a new business dedicated to building decentralized finance. Uh, they called it uh, Ted, to, to be determined, right? It was TBD. That was the name of it, right? So it was, it's full focus it was making a easy... Um, permissionless decentralized financial services. That's in July. In October, right, they jumped into the Bitcoin mining business. Okay, so there's, there's oh, been yeah. signs this whole, this whole time. They actually created a white paper for TBDEX. The next news that they broke, I think that was early this month, is that they're creating a hardware wallet. I'm like, okay, you see where his focus We're is. I'm telling you, right? all year. <laughs> you can, it, the Twitter writing has, has no been, competitive advantage at all. Right. Like, the writing has been on the wall. So if you were thinking, hey, I wonder if he's going to focus on Bitcoin now and he has Square, so he's going to focus on that. They've been putting these signs out there the entire year. Even the and deal with Tyler. on the beach. I was just saying, like, I, I, was go, I was just going to when yeah. you were like, I'm like, yo, Jay is with Jack Dorsey. Something's happening, right? And then we saw the title deal and you broke it down eloquently. I'm like, oh man, here it comes. And so we've been saying Square. And if you were in... If you were in the Apollo Theater on Friday night, I put up on a Jumbotron. A Jumbotron. <laughs> <laughs> we're going to go with that. Let's roll with it. We're going with that. It was a Jumbotron Jumbo. there. Yeah. A big screen. When you looked at the call that I had, it was what company? Square. Why? Because we believe in it. And I told you, my brother Ian has been saying it, and I agree with him. And we told you exactly where I was going to get it at and how I was looking at it. The news breaks today. Be ready, y'all. I spoke about Square on Kenny Burns. Shout out to my brother Kenny yeah. Burns. Yeah, shout, shout out to, to my brother Good Kenny brother. Burns. We spoke about Square today on uh, Kenny Burns show because I knew it was a trending topic, and we spoke about it, you know, several different times on Market Monday. So, yeah, it's been consolidating. We said this um, before, but it's been consolidating, um, and it is twenty five percent off of its fifty two week high. You know, we like that. <laughs> um, so, be be very mindful of square if you're interested in it of course do your research um understand what you're investing in before you invest but yeah. can we talk about my company real quick 204 23 and 190 41 are the two areas to get in you guys would be good if i made money put yes in chat my, my dms have been getting flooded they're like yo troy look at disney look at disney look at disney <laughs> right and i'm like guys i think you might be confusing me with the day trader Right. My main focus of even speaking on Friday was to tell you that the market pays those who are patient. Right. If that was our number when we said 160, if I see that 143, Shadi talks about it all the time. What are we going to do? We're going to average down. Yep. And then lo and behold, <laughs> and lo and behold, 
there's this guy on CNBC who has a stock club now who decides to put Disney as his pick going forward because shout out to, this, <laughs> shout out to Jim Cramer for sure. Uh, he put it as his pick. He told his old club, look, Disney, if you're, if you're selling it now, you're, you're short vision on it, right? It's kind of one of these, these companies where, and we know with the, the new variant, right? We, we can see things flipping around and people were concerned, but Disney ran up during the pandemic because of a streaming service, right? So when, if things open up, and um, at some point they obviously will, they're already sell off those parks. They, they, they're they ready. Think, they're already yeah. set up to succeed, right? The, they got a whole new cruise line that they, they've already announced for 2022. I think 92% of the, the, the missions are already sold out. They're primed to, to have a nice little uh, run and come back. Shout out, to, shout out to everybody that was in there. You don't have to keep DMing me. I see it, y'all. <laughs> shout out to me. Yeah. Shout out to Mickey and Minnie. The Disney I Club. You said shout out to me. I'm like, I'm on the energy tonight. We can do that. <laughs> <laughs> Disney 140 37. Uh, how to take Disney needs to get rid of some of those amusement parks and probably go down to one, probably the one in Florida. I know everybody's going to disagree. And then somebody else has said it, but I'm telling you now. If they get rid of that and focus more on streaming, they'll be a okay. Hold it for long term, you guys will be good. Let's go into this um, because obviously the, the Apollo was the hardest ticket to get. Yo, we um, made it to StubHub, bro. We didn't make it to StubHub. They was actually selling tickets on the, in the aftermarket um, really? marketplace. Yeah, yo, yeah. Nah, price I, going I, up. I heard an <laughs> offer, no joke. I heard an offer like, yo, I'll pay you six hundred right now for a ticket. Yeah, I, I definitely saw the tickets on stuff of about 350, 400. Um, well, we made it. <laughs> you know my premium. model. Premium. <laughs> gotcha. So, so what are some of the biggest lessons? A few, you know, um, obviously we can't go through the whole show, but what are some of the biggest lessons from the Apollo for people that were, were not able to attend? Uh, I'll start because mine is, is, is very quick and then I'll share something really quick. And I said it earlier, the market pays those who are patient. And I went into a detailed story of how it can do that. And so when, like, again, when we're talking about Disney and these other, we're not, I'm not trading that on a daily basis. What I'm really doing is creating a foundation for my children and their children going forward, right? We're going to hold these stocks. And I know Ian says five to 20 years, but I'm like, look, my kids should be living past 20 years. And so I want to make sure they're okay. And I want to give a huge shout out to, to uh, Taylor. Shout out to Taylor, shout out to Chuck. He called me today and um. My he was boy. like, look, I heard what you said when, when, when I came over and you, you were teaching me how to invest. And he said, I was down. I was down like a couple, a couple thousand dollars. But I kept hearing you say, look, stick to the script, stick to the script. Mm -hmm. Today, he called me, said, look, my account is up 150 percent. I said, look, that's what I was preaching, man. The market will pay those who was patient. If you make the right investment, if you do the research, you study your fundamentals and your technicals, trust what you do. That is the problem. I made that mistake early in investing. I didn't trust what I was doing. I felt yeah. a little unsure because there was nobody around me doing some of the investments I was doing. We now have a community of people who have a similar vision, who can actually give you feedback and actually give you pointers on how to invest and not confirm, but give you guidance when you're unsure. And so shout out to everybody in this community and, and others, but trust your research and please be patient with your investments. Absolutely. Absolutely. Shotty, what was your biggest takeaway? Shotty, ready to go already? <laughs> <laughs> it was a stuff up for 600 Boy, <laughs> y'all better not let me do the pricing. Uh, Listen. Um, you know, of course, I talked about the Rashad 10, 20, 30 rule. Um, I have decided to coin you that. You call that? I have decided to coin that. I have. Why not? Yo. Oh, yo. my God. <laughs> Yo, Ian, when I saw that tweet, I'm like, Rashad said? I'm like, what? <laughs> Why not? Why not? Yeah, but nah, I think it was dope because I'm like, don't gloss over that. I think that's a great way for people who don't really know how to invest or beginners. Like, that's pretty simplified, right? Yeah, the, ten, the, Rashad, the Rashad's 10, 20, 30 rule is uh, if a stock is at its all-time high, look for a 10% drop as a decent buy-in price, 20% drop as a good buy-in price, and 30% drop as an excellent buy-in price. And then you can dollar cost down. If you're not 100% confident in the situation, you can always dollar cost down into a position, as long as it's a good position. Because mm -hmm. you dollar cost down into, like, <laughs> Dogecoin, and you'll be still <laughs> dollar cost averaging down. We're so going, where are we going on? Dogecoin doesn't know about crypto. <laughs> he only knows about stocks. 
<laughs> man, I just want to make y'all rich, man. I swear, if y'all just listen to me, y'all will be straight, man. Listen. Yeah, don't don't dollar cost average down. And for anybody that's not familiar with dollar cost averaging down is, AMD is a perfect example of that, right? So I had I have an AMD option and I was down um, 50%. It was pretty, it wasn't a little bit of money, a substantial amount of money a couple of months ago. But from looking at the charts, knowing that it was moving sideways for about six months, it was consolidating. From understanding, um, you know, that there's a chip shortage, from understanding that AMD has a strong history, I still had confidence, even though I was down 50%. So what did I do? I doubled my my position. I added more money, a substantial, I so added a substantial amount of money more. I'll tell you it's going to be uh, straight. You're good. T- today, I'm up 300%. On that position, so that's a that's so when you dollar cost down, it buy it, it brings your buy in price um lower. So you can do that with just regular stock. You can do that with options, but um you know that's that's what we mean by dollar cost averaging yeah. downwards. Um so if you are invested in a strong company that you believe in and you're down, it's not the end of the world. Don't panic. It might actually be only if it's quality though. I yeah, mean, only if it's good. Better. Only if it's good. That's what you I'm guys saying. Only if it's good. Buy a terrible company underneath fifty dollars and think that everything is going to be okay. Go Google what Martin Galing is. It is the same thing, but you should not average down more than twice. If you have yeah, to average yeah. down and, more and, than and twice, I, it's not good. And I asked all the people's their opinion. I definitely asked Ian his opinion. I, I talk to Troy every day, so I always ask Troy his opinion. And I'm not, you know, I don't have a, a, a high level of pride when it comes to that. I want to know other people. I'll talk to Trap if I, if, you know. Anybody, Jamal, anybody. I ask people their You opinions. know, if you lose, like, I'll bring that duffel, though. <laughs> so, you know, yeah, it's good to have good resources and good friends. Um, So, yeah, that's how, that's dollar cost down. And then I spoke about Rob. I don't want to talk about that right now. Whoa, 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 yeah, whoa, whoa, whoa. That was a, that was a, that. That was a nuclear that. weapon. I just want to say that I did speak about it. Okay. <laughs> um, Don't panic. So, yeah, maybe later on we'll talk about that. But, Ian, what, what was it for you? Um, A couple of lessons, if I can do two. One, um... Kudos to my guy P from, from Dream Team. Uh, marry your target. So for those of you that are trading, um, you have to pick one target and stick to it for four years, no matter what. If you're going to stick with one target for four years, please put four years in chat. And one that I said that I wasn't going to give up that we talked about Saturday at the VIP day. Um, if you guys truly want to know how to study the volume in the market for all of you that are like videographers and if you have drones, if you are in a major city, it's a hell of a tip I gave. Go use your drone over the highways in major cities for 30 days and look at when traffic slows down, look at when it speeds up, and then compare that over the S&P 500 and NASDAQ, you're going to see the same parallels over and over again. And that'll tell you the gaps in time, when to get into the market, when to get out, and then when the volume actually dries up. Different level of excellence. I want to thank us. I'm not going to say me. I'm saying I want to thank us. So. Oh, avalanche tip was fire, but I'm gonna keep that for the Saturday group. I love y'all. <laughs> um, um, let me uh, let me say this. Um, also, all right. So switching topics. I'm gonna be good um, the rest of the episode. I'm probably <laughs> I know you is like God. What is this? <laughs> Yo, they spiked this pineapple juice. <laughs> yeah, I'm good. Um, so <laughs> today, you know, I, I looked at I looked at the market. It was it was it was doing well today, and then. Um, at the close, I looked at the, my portfolio when the um, stock market had closed and I'm like, I made a teacher's salary from Milwaukee today. So I was like, what happened? And I realized that um, SMH went crazy. Uh, what, $14? That's amazing. Like that. is, is, SMH is the, that's the, the gift that keeps giving. Um, SMH went crazy today. How much did SMH go up today? Uh, $12. $12 today. How much did AMD go up today? Whew, AMD... Almost 10. Yeah. AMD was up seven. Yeah. So between those two bad boys, it was a good day. It was a good day. Um, So being that, you know, we can never talk about these situations enough. Is SMH, the the number one question that I get, because I always talk about SMH. We talk about SMH all the time. The number one question that I get from everybody is, when is SMH going to pull back? When's a good time to invest in SMH? Is it too late? Is it too late to invest in SMH? I'll let Ian go first. <laughs> no, it's not too late. Because <laughs> I know if what I'm saying. I made you money, put yes in chat. Best price would be two sixty one ninety four. If you want a deeper dip, two fifty five. Please write those prices down. You guys keep at this is like if in the nineteen seventies you're like, when is oil going to be a bad investment? The era's not over. AI, oh. gaming, metaverse, 
every chip, like every phone needs more. AMD, NVIDIA, number one, SMH. Like, it's like a tier. Like, you can go back and forth between Kobe, LeBron, Durant. And, like, you're good with all three. Mm. I like AMD first, NVIDIA second. SMH is powerful. Stop thinking that you have to. A lot of you are like, well, I need to know how to fish on my own. You see everybody, man, teach a man to fish for himself. I'm like, most of y'all won't even get in the boat every day to fish for yourself. <laughs> Let me put this on the plate for you. Put the little seasoning on it. Put the little fat fries on there. There you go. Get rich. AMD, NVIDIA, SMH for the next nine years, at least you'll be good. AMD, uh, SMH is going to go to 649.38 in four years. You can miss out if you want to. You've been, uh, you've been warned. Th that's the crystal ball. Like, and I think you can bring up a good point, Ian. A lot of times people invest in something and they'll make gains in it. And it's like, let me go find something else to make gains in. And it's like, well, that worked for you. Why wouldn't you stay in that position and just make it a longer term position or add to the position? Or like, we try to reinvent things. Like if we went up and I won't say percentages, shout out to everybody else at the Apollo. <laughs> but if we, if it Phenomenal worked. Phenomenal performance, in, I'll say that. <laughs> if it worked in All SMH. All and in the portfolio. <laughs> appreciate you. If it worked in SMH. And I don't know how many times we got to talk about semiconductors before you realize, like, yo, we're pretty heavily invested in semiconductors. It's an amazing investment. In fact, I just checked SMH. NVIDIA is now the number one all allocation inside. It used yeah, to be TSM. And that's why I like I SMH. It's, it's, yeah. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's it, for a long time, it was TSM. For the past maybe year and a half, maybe two years, TSM, obviously, we, we spoke about that. And people are asking, is TSM? TSM is it's just, just wait. Just wait. T man. TSM just is wait. Kyrie, not playing right now. Nvidia, Durant, killing. Give him the ball. No, Put no, no. Steph, on the Steph. It's, it's, it's Steph right now. We ain't gonna say Durant. It's Steph right now. And okay. that's the reason why I, I, the ETF strategy. I, I'm a lot because we talked about it before. If if one doesn't perform, there's others, ten others, fifteen others in it that's gonna make up for the one performance. And that is the best. I'm, I'm I still use that analogy. Like when I ask people, and I did this yesterday. I was teaching a couple of people about uh, investing. I said, look, think of Apple. Or think of, let's think of NVIDIA as Steph Curry, right? And think of SMH as the Western Conference All-Stars. Which one are you going to invest in? Yep. Right? Somebody will Troy tell me Steph Curry. Troy has my permission to use that. Rest of you don't. I don't Yo, want to it is the me. best. When I say this, they get it right away. I'm like, look, you yep. can invest in Steph, but what happens if he pulls his groin? Right? That, that's a lot of exposure, right? You're going to you're gonna feel the effects in your portfolio. But if Steph pulls his groin on the Western Conference All-Star team, right? The, the Western Conference All-Star team could still win the game, Right? He Absolutely. might not score 30, give you 36 and six, right? That he does as an individual. He I'm might give cook you all in 2K if I got the Western All-Stars. 15, 7 and 7. But 15 and 7 and 7 is great when you got LeBron on your team and you got AD on your team and you got Kawhi and Paul George on your team. Go with the All-Star team, y'all. That's what ETFs are. Strong ETFs are All-Star teams. And the, like I just said, TSM was the number one allocation, but that's the beauty of ETFs, right? They can rotate. reallocate, right? So if NVIDIA is running... Now more money's poured into Re NVIDIA. Now that it becomes the number one position inside of the, uh, the ETF. Reallocation is a real rotation y'all need to work. Remember when y'all worried about that last year? What about rotation? That's a, that's a bar. Say it again. That's a bar. Reallocation is the real rotation. Remember everybody was teaching rotation. They wrote it, rotated y'all to brokenness. This is the real rotation that matters the most. Uh, ETF or index is going to put the leader in the space in the number one allocation slot. It's going to be good. I want you to guys put this in chat. Investing is very easy. All I have to do is follow the blueprint. Even XL, XLK, right? That, that's one of our positions as well. That another ETF. QQQ. Went QQQ crazy is, today is, too. is incredible. Went crazy today. Incredible. Incredible. QQQ is incredible. XLK. Apple for the past two years has been the number one allocation inside of XLK. It is now Microsoft. Oh, baby. Yeah, it's simple, man. Yep. Investing is not forty four percent of the fund is Apple and Microsoft. Forty four percent. But when I tell you, I should be twenty five percent of your allocation. Like that's overweighted because Randall P. Jones in nineteen eighty seven said I should only have eight percent. Ask people what their net worth is, man. When they're telling you this, there's a difference between, as my grandmother would say, sound reason and reason that sounds good. People can talk your ear off. Ask them when they give you some money. That's how you know who is actually doing. Well, in investing, and shout out to everybody that I blessed on stage Friday. Or like the notorious B. Oh yeah, he definitely made it rain. Uh, <laughs> when, like the notorious Big said, uh, 
He's talking it, but ain't living it. That's what I really wanted to say. <laughs> He's talking it, but ain't living it. That really was my title <laughs> at first, yo. Let me show you we really living it. He's <laughs> talking it, but ain't living it. Shout rest in peace to Big. Yeah. Um, remember eight months ago when we went on the Breakfast Club the first time, mm -hmm. and I talked about QQQ, yeah. and I said the option call. I'm up. I'm up 147 percent on that call. Did they listen? It's on. It's it's on documented. It's it. It was. Why are you I being a diplomat it, today? <laughs> <laughs> He's on a different type of top. Man, you being I'm so just, peaceful. I want you to go crazy. Sometimes when you hear information, you gotta you gotta listen, man. The, the information yeah. is there right in front of us. Let's talk yep. about an elder statesman, an elder statesman in this game, uh, David Ramsey. David Ramsey. Shout out to Dave Ramsey. Uh, um, before, before I say this, I want to preference this by saying, <laughs> <laughs> I have no issue with Dave Ramsey, man. He Maybe, has, I done, actually like Dave a lot. Yeah. He's done some good stuff for the, yeah. for, for the financial literacy community, help people get out of debt. You know, he's done some good things. Um, he had a thing where he said, um, how to invest your money, I got it right invest in mutual funds, spread equally in four categories, growth, growth and income, aggressive growth, international Real estate paid in full. Don't invest in singular stocks, Bitcoin, or any cryptocurrency, whole life insurance policies, annuities, bonds, micro investing, REITs, ETFs, and CDs. David, David, David. <laughs> <laughs> Mike, clip that. Oh, when I saw that, I looked at it, I'm like, yo, bro, I'm everything on the don't list. Thanks, David. David, David, David. <laughs> trying to keep uh, us, he trying to keep us there. <sighs> you want to keep us there, Ian? There's a different <laughs> strategy for, and, and I've used his baby blueprint to get out of debt. I tell everyone that's the formula I use to get out of debt. But I think for us that are black and brown or lower income, once you get out of debt, what happens? Magically, some big debt or an accident happens, and all of a sudden you go back in. Um, I understand he may have a position, but it's not based on stats. Everyone, I want you to tell me, what is the 11-year return for Bitcoin? I'm not <laughs> the hugest fan of crypto, right? But I've been investing in it since 2013. I know a lot of people like to talk, but there I didn't see your face at these conferences at Money Show in 2014. I'm going to be real. Single stocks. Apple, Microsoft, AMD, Tesla, NVIDIA. Even You, you could throw a micro. It's a huge mistake to not invest in single stocks. I like to hedge with indexes or ETFs. Um, I agree, no CDs. I agree with if you can pay real estate off in cash, better to not have the debt. But I think in this situation, he was over levered. And I think what he's trying to prevent people from doing is to be in an over levered situation where the loan gets called. I get it because I'm, I'm big on no debt. But to say no no Bitcoin, no crypto of any kind, no single stocks, I think no, e no ETFs. No ETFs? ETFs are, it's the safest damn bet you can make in a market. So if you guys just go look, don't believe me and don't believe Dave or Troy or Rashad and Rashad's in a good mood today because I thought he was going to be on bullshit like me. <laughs> um, go look at the five year and 10 year return and go to year to date return, ytdreturn.com and compare mutual funds versus the ETFs, mutual funds versus Apple and Microsoft. And you can see what the growth is over time. And that'll tell you everything that you need to know. If you should it's not comparable at all. <laughs> it's not comparable. I'll, I'll tell you, I'll save you the time. It's not even comparable. So when I saw that, I was just like, wow. All time return for Tesla is like 24 or 28,000%. How could you stay out of that? I, I don't, I, I don't know how. The part that I don't understand is he's saying don't invest in ETFs, but invest in mutual funds. Mutual funds are kind of similar to ETFs. And then he's saying invest in a growth mutual fund. So if you're in a growth mutual fund, let's take a, a mutual fund like Franklin Dynatech Fund, who I actually like that mutual fund. It's a good one. But it, it's very comparable to QQQ. What is really the difference mm -hmm. except for it's more expensive? So why are you encouraging people to invest? I could see if you said an index fund. He, I don't understand why you're encouraging people to invest in mutual funds, but not ETFs. When ETFs are very similar to mutual funds. like mutual, mutual funds, funds cost more. Well, that's what I'm saying. So yeah. I don't, I just don't understand that. If he said just invest in the S&P 500, that will make more sense. And, and international exposure is trash. Name me five companies overseas that are outperforming American stocks. Jeopardy music, somebody. Mike, cut, cut this in. <laughs> I'll wait. There aren't many. Spotify? Oh, come on. 
there may be like five good companies. And if China didn't have the rule that it did over its regime, but I would stay out of international affairs. Um, you can argue Alibaba would probably be way better, but right now, mm -mm. that's so, um, yeah. Shopify may be the only one. Yeah, kudos. Yeah, there was there was a, a great article in uh Forbes today about Shopify. Or oh, Spotify, not Shopify. I'm sorry. I'll I'll talk about that later. And I also don't understand um, when he's when he says not to invest in Bitcoin or cryptocurrency. Um, I don't understand that. I can understand not investing in things that you don't understand. And if you don't understand it, you shouldn't invest it before you're educated. But when you see J.P. Morgan, when you see all of these big institutions, all of these banks buying up cryptocurrency, buying up Bitcoin at rapid rates high level of adoption. Mm -hmm. I mean, obviously you're talking about something that is not going to go away tomorrow. It has There's, an institutional it, floor and ceiling and everyone knows the ranges in between and it's a safe haven, you know, but this was, is key why I tell you guys to read so much. So you don't become a dinosaur. Like if we ever get to 15% interest, you're going to hit me have a completely different take on two tech, two index. I'm going to say, throw it away. Doesn't work. Go all JP Morgan. Shout out to Nicole. Who's back? And the environment, yeah, and, and the environment that we're in right now, low interest rate, low capital, two index, two tax works perfectly. You have to know when your strategy will break down. But yeah, I think it's a huge mistake to say not to invest in anything but mutual funds and growth and income. So, but I love Dave. You know, I just don't like like that take. It's wrong. Yeah, I, I think that the the new age retail investor that, that that's just they're gonna look at that like what are mutual funds number one? What are bonds? They know cryptocurrency. They know singular stocks, right? It's it's just a, it's just a new way of investing, and people. This is their introduction into investing, and so not to say not not knocking mutual funds or bonds, but this is what this age group, this this new revolution. This is their introduction into investing. At some point, maybe they'll they'll explore those things, but right now, ETFs, individual stocks, crypto for sure, and real estate. You're done. That's where they're at. You're done, Dave. <laughs> done so I think I don't got it I don't have a meeting there tomorrow don't panic <laughs> don't panic don't panic he needs an adjustment I, I'll say that everyone needs to be hey, aware yo, of what is nah, coming nah, shout out to being uh, in the business charge right, shout, shout out to shout out to Dave he put a funny one on us shout out to Dave man he put a funny one on us shout out to that shout out to you too man we got 7700 people on the check in this is a oh, this God. is a big show big big show all right Billionaire investor Ray Dalio. Um, so it was crazy. Ian said this in the group chat, but I actually had put it in my story like two minutes before he said it in the group chat. Mm -hmm. He made news. He, he wrote a new book and he says that yeah, America's so. decline will not only up in portfolios, but it will up in lives. Lives. He's predicting mm -hmm. that the economic decline of America will lead to a war. He even said a civil war. He went. He said it's a thirty percent civil. I thought he said just a. a, a if you look on the other one that oh, I posted, okay, he says okay, okay. it's a thirty percent chance war. of a civil war. I, that is a little too far, right. I think. But um, Why? he's saying that the, the China's strength, mm -hmm. uh, America's um, weakening of the dollar, mm -hmm. inflation, yeah. um, putting so much capital out there, our debt has jeopardized national Thank security and will lead and will lead to the downfall of this empire yeah polarization widening wealth gaps inflation and the fact that china can compete with us like really and not, so, at, so, not so some people may argue surpass us yep and what's the he number one that. movie in china right now somebody put it in chat because now you have the propaganda side me being on the marketing side uh if you study the history of pr with edward bernays which is sigma freud's relative the number one movie in China right now is a war movie about how they defeat us. Is it really? Mm -hmm. Wow. Oh, baby. And so, watch movies. and on top of that, in one month, Elon, Bezos, and Jack have sold a considerable amount of their uh, portfolios and telling you that it's for tax reasons. Okay. The last time this happened was uh, right before the crash of 2020. They're telling you the writing is on the wall that a pullback or hard crash is going to come very, very soon in the next probably two years, which I've been telling you guys for the last probably 12 or 13 months. 
So, so let me yeah. let me ask you this because I just you know I get these random thoughts sometimes, and I, as I was coming over here, I just had a random thought like you know we put so much money, especially as you start to get more and more money in your brokerage account, and you know you put money in the brokerage account, <laughs> and you're putting this money into the bank and all that. What happens? What happens? What happens if if this thing just falls apart? And it's like, I don't know. Like, what if it, I know that's a very slim chance. You know, it's always a doomsday situation. But, but, but you it's always like, have to plan for those events. Yeah. So should you have physical cash? Should you have gold bars? Like, what no, is no, your no gold bars? People say that about gold bars. Like, if what can you actually trade them for if we're in a disaster area? You actually put your family in more danger having cash and gold on hand. And the environments in which we grew up. So you're saying like, got, is it like an I am legend situation or like, <laughs> like what are we talking? But do you, but I mean, I don't want to be like a doomsday, obviously, but you know, it's something to consider because especially when you start to have a lot, a lot of money, let's say 80, 80% of your wealth is on, you know, whatever portfolio, it's an app, right? What happens? What happens if, the, you know, what happens if anything happens? What, what something happens? You have to make sure, this is a good, good, good question. You have to have your like, money in a brokerage that is well capitalized. So if there is a run on the brokerage, which is different from a run on the bank, do they have enough reserves for your trade still to be able to go through? Also, that's why I tell you guys, mark off 50% from the highs and 75% from the highs. Those are the places in which you want to buy. Then you need to look at the companies they've acquired, the founders and chairmen to see, have they been at other banks or brokerages in which they have went under and they got bought? Because if so, chances are very high that they're going to go under. That's why I love TD Ameritrade. I know if anything happens, it will take the, an act of God for them to go under. Mm. Different. Now, if you got a little smaller rinky-dink brokerage, money may not be there tomorrow. For those of you that trade on a non-top 10 platform, you should probably max out at maybe five or $600,000 in trading profits inside of there in case. And also read like the actual disclaimers that they give you. What happens if the market goes under? Yeah, you have to be mindful of these things. Yeah, real quick. So yeah. we're talking uh, top brokerages, and obviously we're not sponsored by any of them, but we're talking TD, Fidelity, Charles Schwab, Vanguard, E-Trade, perhaps. Are we, are mm -hmm. we talking those? When, so you, when you're saying yeah. Ricky Dink, you're saying anything outside of those? Robinhood is still safe, too. Shout out to Robinhood. I'm just asking Shout for out a to friend. Robinhood. I'm asking for a friend. Shout, Shout out to Robinhood. Shout out to Vlad. Robinhood's good. Yeah, okay. yeah, they're good. Rob Robinhood's so, solvent. They're solvent. Yeah. Anything mm -hmm. else you have to know. This is why I say you have to study everything. And I'm going to say it again. No company is responsible for making you rich or protecting your money. That is your job. So where you choose to put your money has an impact on how well you're going to do. And, and here's mm -hmm. the thing. Call them and ask them, how solvent are you in case the market has a 45% decline over a 30-day period? Call. Ask. The answers are really fascinating sometimes when you actually do call. I don't just put on a jacket and say I'm the greatest of our era just because. Call. I've called every bank, every brokerage on earth. That's why I pick the ones that I do. Even with Ninja Trader, I know there's a certain level of protection that they have if the market goes under that they'll still have enough liquidity for me to be able to trade in the wildest of markets, even if we draw back 60% from today's highs. Call and find out. Here's another thing. Speaking about Virgil, um, you have to have your estate plan in order. And part of that is actually, so, you know, a lot of us, all right, so you traded on these apps all day. And you say you have a lot of money. And let's say anything can happen. Let's say you die, right? Um, who even knows you have an account? Mm -hmm. Who knows your password? Mm -hmm. Who knows the information? So these are all things that you got to think about. Like you should have all of this stuff written out. Yeah. Especially um, for your wallets. That's a fact. Oh, crypto I, wallet. For I'm sure. glad you said that. I, crypto I, I, wallets for sure. I, I I did that. I actually did that. I, I, my wife has the passwords to all the brokerage accounts. I told her the event if anything happens, sell everything and then call Shadi after. That's the plan. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah. That's a good. That's a good. Um, that's a good plan. Yeah, it is. But you should also, to take it a step further, you should you should have a safety deposit box in a bank um, that somebody else should have access to. Mm -hmm. because you never know what can happen. Right, right, right. So you like people have like they give their lawyer access to information and then they'll give their spouse access to information. So two people have you access. Somebody watch the lawyer to be honest too. Yeah, like a casino. 
Uh, can't I, take that. What, 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 what was the guy behind the stage at Invest Us? You need a friend like that to watch your lawyer. <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm not telling you guys hypothetically. I've known somebody who trusted their lawyer, and then all of a sudden, a lot of assets came up missing post death. Be mindful, because now, especially if you give them power of attorney over your estate, trust me. Go ask. Yeah. Them. Like even, <laughs> even when you guys have estate planning or attorneys, have you ever actually did reference checks and call clients and say, "Hey, did they do a good job with their family when the other person in their family died?" A lot of the stuff is preventable, but people don't call. You have to call and check and, and, and screen and get your references to make sure everything is good. And definitely add beneficiaries to everything that you have. Bank account, retirement account, brokerage account, you should have a beneficiary and you should tell the beneficiary that they are the beneficiary because it's kind of pointless to have yeah. a beneficiary mm -hmm. and they don't, they don't yeah. know it. Mm -hmm. The insurance company is not just randomly going to call somebody and say, hey, you know, you can't you can't just rely on that. So and, and please, and I know this is a story that you tell a story of caution. If you are married and get divorced, please make sure that you update your beneficiaries you or do not. Oh, baby, please, please do. Please do. Want to tell them the story? Yeah, it was a guy that was in, um, I think he was like a New York firefighter, New York police department. And um Long story short, he had a he had a, a, a pension, he had a you know life insurance policy, all of that, and um, you know he changed, he got divorced, and like you know he was remarried for another twenty years after he got divorced, and he died, and the ex wife got um, the insurance money, got the pension, got everything because he never changed the beneficiary from when he originally started working at the job forty years ago. So you know, he had a whole new family and everything, and no, the ex wife didn't give the new wife anything. She didn't, she didn't give him anything. To. Well, that's debatable. <laughs> but, but Man, she, everything that happens, good or bad, is your fault. I'm going to tell you the real. Everything. So now you get cussed out in death because you didn't take time to transfer papers over, but you had time to be on you porn. Hey, I'll you. see you, King. You trying to vibe with something after Apollo? Hey, baby girl, let me buy you a drink. Update your paperwork, fam. <laughs> Don't be on here saying on the mic, update your paperwork. My business straight while you're playing. My network straight while you're playing. Go up there to their paperwork, boy. <laughs> Come on, man. What are we doing? I did not come to play. Yo, can we get a hashtag of that? Update your paperwork, boy. <laughs> Listen, ladies, make your man have a paperwork party. Not the kind if he got in trouble, but the kind if he's Yo, straight. I'm dead. Sure. Paperwork party. I'm dead. <laughs> Xander, my mama, my dad, my brother get everything if I go. Hey, it is what it is. Update your paperwork. Boy, it's oh. extremely, extremely important. So Yo. make sure you guys have those family meetings. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out to Carlos and everybody at who me no. on my jokes. Love y'all. No, nobody wins when the family feuds. Yo. That is a fact. <laughs> that is a fact. Um, Troy, the nine o'clock hour. It's the nine o'clock hour. So it's earned report. Look. We talked about an industry, cybersecurity, right? With Metaverse and everything going um, digital, obviously you need cybersecurity. It is earnings week for two of the top in the industry. Tuesday, one of my favorites, shout out to Bam. He's all the shout way up. I got Bam, I love him dearly. Zscaler will be reporting Tuesday along with one of my other favorites, Salesforce will be reporting tomorrow. Thursday, uh, we got DocuSign, but on Wednesday, we got CrowdStrike. I know CrowdStrike has had a nice pullback. So are killing. Wait, hold on. Yo, Ian, we talked about this two months ago. I, That's true. I'm still getting thank you. I'm still getting thank yous. Tell them about Zscaler. After, you, after you're done, tell them about Zscaler. Right, right. uh, so we got DocuSign as well on Thursday. We saw DocuSign obviously take a major hit, um, you know, as, as the re it was one of those Corona COVID stocks and, you know. It's, it's, it's taking a nice hit. Um, so they'll be reporting on Thursday as well. Zscaler, man, we, we talked about uh, obviously cybersecurity and we talked about, and Ian says it all the time, invest in the top two companies in the industry. And everybody has talked about uh, CrowdStrike. Not many yeah, people have talked about Zscaler. If you look at the, the technicals, I mean, it's an obvious winner. It's an obvious winner. And I said that in September, right before they were going to have third quarter earnings, I had looked at um the estimated uh, growth. I looked at the revenue. I said, this is one. I called Bam. He's going to tell the story a little differently than how I'm about to tell it. But I'm like, look, we're going to make a move on this. <laughs> I said, we're going to make a move on this. 
And uh, we both did. Uh, I might have put a little bit more money than I told him. Uh, but it's, it's worked out for us tremendously. So uh, I love Zscaler. I like CrowdStrike too. I actually, the pullback has actually made me pay attention to it even yeah. more so. Yeah, right. like, all right, it might be an entry coming for us very shortly. It might be an entry coming for us very shortly. So uh, that is our earnings report for this week. That's our earnings report. About a good people oh, can, we talk about, can I talk about really quickly about another company that we spoke about a year ago? Ian, get ready to pull a chart. TMO, you ready? Yo, I hit you last week like, oh my God. Talk about this one enough. Yeah. Now, you know, it's a home run. Last June, while we were, we were, we were still in the midst of the pandemic, well, not 2021, but 2020, we were in the midst of the pandemic. Everybody was home. Everybody was focusing on vaccines and how to get these vaccines and when they're coming. And we said, that, okay, that's fine. We knew about Pfizer. We heard about Moderna. We know Johnson. Johnson. Everybody had their, their Merck. We had all these companies that were focusing on the vaccines. We told people specifically, right? No, 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 not we, you. It's you a show, me. bro. We are, we are a show. We all got to get okay. credit for this. <laughs> okay. I said, look, I said, no, we said, look, if people are making vaccines, these vaccines need to be transported in certain type of materials. They need mm-hmm. to be held in certain type of materials. Here is a company that's actually doing that. So I don't care who makes the vaccine. It still needs to be put in a capsule. It still needs to be transported. Billions, yeah. government ordering billions, countries ordering billions. TMO was doing that. Who? TMO, Thermo Fisher. Thermo Fisher, not T-Mobile, at the time, TMO. Not, not, not T-Mobile, TMO. At the time, it was trading at, I think, 347. And I remember being in the chat and people were like, it's so high, it's 347. Ian, tell them what the price is. Uh, 685, 62. No, wait, hold on, because right, I don't want them to kill me. Like, man, he got something in that cup, which is pineapple juice. Uh, 650, 16, my bad. Right now, Six, after hours. 56. I wonder if those same people are now looking at it like, yo, that thing is too high, man. 100%. Great growth. And if you guys need an entry, what you're going to ask, 62092 would be good. You'll be good. That's a hell of an entry. It's a hell of an entry. Great call, though. Great call. And I want to give credit. CrowdStrike is uh, what Trap called on here last year. Did. That's his pick. Great call. It's, he did. He loved CrowdStrike. And as he was telling me, I'm like, all right, that's CrowdStrike. That thing running. <laughs> Great call. Um, and because he said CrowdStrike and he, because he kept focusing on cybersecurity, it made me, and this is how iron sharp is iron, it made me go mm-hmm. find the, the industry and find who's number one, number two, number three. Boom. Now, oh, here's Zscaler. Let me study this one. He's already got CrowdStrike, but this one has potential to grow as well. So shout out to Trap for that. And Moderna's yeah. back on the terrace. Some of you are like, hey, is it over? Is your crystal ball flickering and, and about to die? Um, Moderna is making a, a hell of a return and, and come back. So um, current price is three seventy four eighty nine. So I had a nice little tumble, returned. It's going to be great. And watch out for this next version of uh, COVID as well. I know Biden said it's nothing to worry about, but as the president, he is saying what he should say. What is it called? Omicron? Mm-hmm. I said, remember Omicron? when I told you all about the zombie, zombie virus? Shout out to my guy who sent it to me earlier. In the 1960s, they had a movie by the same name that was pretty devastating. Signs are always there. Be mindful. Mask up. We'll be at our bottles this weekend. (laughs) Safety first. (laughs) Safety first. More bottles. Uh, The more bottles camp. The more bottles tours on the way. More bottles. Donations. Ooh, my voice. Donations. <laughs> <laughs> and now, 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 we're gonna have Ian outside with us. That's a fact. We're not letting you go. We're not letting you go to sleep. Me and Xander Komodo, be out there hand them out. Komodo, please have my table. Victory, right. please have our section. Please, please, please. Let's not make this a um situation. Do everybody a favor. Live on Sunday. We doing it? Why not? Oh, I'm gonna be tired. Let me get a rest some rest now. Nah, 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 nah. Mm-hmm. Hey, guess what? It's, it's not gonna be Monday, so you, you gotta come outside, bro. Live on Sunday. It's gonna be Thursday, Friday, Saturday. He ain't gonna be outside. Oh my gosh. It's gonna be a motion picture event, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen. Um more bottles. Okay. Uh before you wanna go well, before we go to questions, let's let me ask one more question before we go to questions. Um the secrets to mastering the market, um, pyramids, the binner cycle, uh-huh. gen boxes, uh-huh. 
everybody been like, yo, give up the secrets. You keep giving us two tech, two indexed. Study, everyone write this down, GAN boxes. You have to understand the cycles of three, six, and nine, plus the Bennett cycle, plus pyramid. So I don't know if you guys caught that gym, but if you take, well, I, I got I told him I was only going to give him that exclusive, so I'm, I'm going to keep my word on that. But if you put those three together, you will never miss a cycle in the market, crash or boom. So this is for the serious people in Red Panda, the serious earners who really want to edge, Gantt boxes plus Benner, you'll have everything that you need to know and be able to catch every cycle and study the patterns of three, six, and nine. So the third year, sixth year, ninth year to understand what's going to happen in the market. And you'll be good. There you have it. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, I have no idea what Ian has talking about, but I am going to study. I am going to study this. And uh, me and Troy, yeah. your research department, have you lost any trades? <laughs> when I said it was gonna go to where it was gonna go, no, if he made you money, put yes in chat. Yes man. in chat. A Abdullah, hey, was I right about me the first week numbers or no? Is you're not right? supposed to know. That's why you don't know. You're guy. not supposed to know, man. They argue with me about what Meek don't do. I told you what Meek don't gonna do. Shout out Yo, to speaking about shout out album to, sales. Oh, no, 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 we can't do that. <laughs> uh, shout out to YouTube. We got 8,000 people on the check-in. Don't panic. I love you. Please hit, please hit the like button. Um, yeah, shout out to my bro, 19 Keys, man. I seen him. Uh, he was in Hawaii Ooh. on the thing. You know, I used to live in Hawaii, so I was telling him to go to the volcano and all that. So I saw him do a video at the volcano. He's like, you know, I'm at the 19th degree of access to the earth. He's like, if you're already tapped in, you already know what that's about. You already understand. <laughs> you already understand. <laughs> you got to call him on the 19th day. He really be in the zone. <laughs> He said, oh, I'm man. at the 19th degree. You understand me? Yeah. <laughs> Peace of the God. Peace of the God. Man. I was watching it like <laughs> 19 keys. We got it. We got special, it. Special guy. Every time we got something special coming with 19 keys. Let's just leave it at that. Very, very special. Um, Legendary. All right. Janet. Janet's got a plan. You there? Hold up. I'm here. Hey, guys. Look at Jan. Janet. Janet, fresh hey. off the Apollo <laughs> stage. Boy. Where you get your glasses from? Huh? Where you get your glasses from? Those aren't Warby Parker. I know because I have Warby Parker. <laughs> Where you get those from? Those are nice frames. Thank you. Hi, None everybody. of that damn Janet. Y'all not shooting no shots. We not doing that Zoom. <laughs> Yo, please stop. stop. <laughs> yeah. Her DMs yeah. are in shambles. Please you stop. Me, Troy, Mike, and Bam. <laughs> Cut it out. <laughs> now, good to see you, though. Good to see you guys. I, it's been months since I saw you guys. So it was nice to have a weekend with everyone. And to meet the earners, I feel like I didn't have enough time with the earners. I wanted to sit down and like really, you know, have some deeper conversations. But yeah. the weekend came and went. We got we got we got some things planned where we're gonna have some some intimate time with our earners. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, just just our earners because they have supported us like no other. So shout out to them. Shout out to all how, how did it feel to see everybody in? I know some people you haven't seen in person. So like, how was that? Like seeing people- It was amazing. It was so cool. Some people didn't recognize me because my hair was straight. Um, I heard, Janet, you're shorter than I expected. <laughs> but, um, but it was really great. It was awesome. I, I gave a lot of hugs, um, you know, hashtag COVID, but I couldn't help myself. <laughs> it was great. It's always great nah. to see the earners. I appreciate you being there. Appreciate you. Thank you guys for the opportunity. I was very nervous. My legs were shaking before I went out there. You did great. Um, <laughs> but it was it was really cool. Yeah, when you when you sat down, um, were you able to see people? Because I spoke to MG. And he was like, I couldn't see anybody. I'm like, MG like, also how? Had about, he had a couple shots. Of, uh, <laughs> it, it's kind of hard to see people when you're because I mean, of the lights. <laughs> MG was seeing three people. I said, I'm like, man, you didn't see anyone, bro? Like, no, nobody? He's yeah, like, y'all didn't see anything. A couple shots. I um, said, okay. <laughs> Janet, no, nah, you did a great job. Thank you for coming out. We appreciate you. Thank um, you. Thank so, you. Jan, let, let, let's get into this. Let's get into some questions if we can. All right, Edward, we are coming to you. Unmute yourself, please. Hey, uh, can you hear me? What's How up, brother? Doing, Edward, what's up, man? Hey, what's going on? Uh, I just want to Edward, you got your TV on? I do. Hold on. I'm watching in the background because I like to try to focus on, you know, what y'all just said plus what you're saying now. It's, it's a lot going on over here. Got you. Got you. I appreciate it. Uh, no, nah, but so I did have a question. My question was, I just recently started watching um, and so I joined the Earn Your Leisure and I know Ian talks about dollar cost averaging all of the time. 
Um, and so I was like previously against the strategy of dollar, dollar cost averaging just because I felt like I didn't really have the funds to invest every month like consistently like that. Um, but I did get into like a couple of stocks a while ago. And so I've held them for a long time, but I'm not quite sure if I can just start dollar cost averaging right away from the new, like, you know, what is currently priced at compared to where I got in at. Which ones are you in? Uh, so the ones are, so the two that I'm looking at, at trying to do that is Apple. Um, oh, and good. so I got in at 127. Okay. Um, and I think I had a position for, for, for a while now. So maybe like at least seven months. Um, and okay. then. Good job on that. Was, the next price for Apple would be 138.86. Write that down. 138.86. 138.86. Okay. Okay. And then the Tesla, uh, I got in at 585. I know you may not want to average up in that one, um, <laughs> but the most important thing is number of shares. So here's what happens. We'll get into the low price and see it run up and be like, damn, I should have got more, right? Think about when Tesla in three years goes to 2,053 bucks and 53 cents. You're going to be mad that you didn't add. Um, you should probably add one of goods back to 982.70. And then again, like at, at the highest I'll get in is like at 1100. You'll be good. So, like, okay. add every month because the most important thing, everyone put this in chat. Number of shares is more important than a great entry with few shares. The number of shares that you have is way more important than a great entry and with a few shares. So, but you, you got it in that phenomenal prices. I'm proud of you. Yeah, um, those those both those are both so, great, great entry points, man. Congrats. Thank you. I just wanted sorry to, to kind of capitalize on that. I just wanted to say I did get in, but I again I wasn't like really fully knowing what I was doing. So the number of shares that I have is extremely low. So will it still be beneficial to to continue to dollar cost average monthly at, at what it is now, or should I wait for that price at, and the, then at the price start that, then? At the price, you may be new here. Check this out. If I made you money off at Tesla and Apple, put yes in chat. <laughs> Merch it. <laughs> put yes in chat. Hashtag. Put yes in chat. Pull up that chat, yeah. So I got you. Um, so yeah, add to, to those prices of Apple and, and Tesla, and you'll be good. I promise you. Okay. So, so yes, you can dollar cost average. Okay. Oh, great companies. And, and here's the secret: you guys should only dollar cost average on a top twenty market cap companies so that's another i've never said it before the top 20 market cap companies are the ones you should dollar cost average 21 through 7,000. leave alone i don't want to hear about yeah. rivian anymore or yeah. nicola or whomever use use you google know. as your fan so if you're like well where do i find the top 20 just it, search it like it literally will come up and show yeah. you the top but you have two cap. top tier amazing yeah you're good and, and as long another, as elon is there and tim cook is there Another thing that you know, people are a little cautious about dollar cost averaging into companies because they, you know, they could be volatile, they can go flat for a while, and that's another benefit with the ETS or index funds, um, where you know, especially with the ETS, where Ian just spoke about as far as the top tier companies. If you invest in a strong ETF, they're going to have those top tier companies in it. Mm -hmm. um, so you know, you don't have to worry about just picking one particular stock where you can invest in a XLK, QQQ, VOO. Um, and if you want to be really, you know, more conservative than you invest in the S&P 500, but that's a way of not having a really, you know, rack your brain. If you're nervous about putting money in every single month into one individual stock, you dollar cost averaging into index funds is a great way to go. Also. Yeah. You want me to, you want me to run off the top 20? I'll run them all. I'll run them all. Here Before we go. Number you do. One. Okay. <laughs> two tech, two index, no stress for those who are new. Shadi, I'm learning. To make it simple, not dumb it down, to make it simple. Two tech, okay. two index, no stress. Go ahead, Troy. Uh, all right, here we go. Number one, Apple. Number two, Microsoft. Number three, Google. Number four, Saudi America. Number yes. five, Amazon. Number six, Tesla. Number seven, Meta, formerly known as Facebook. The artist formerly known as Facebook. Number eight, <laughs> NVIDIA. Number nine, Berkshire Hathaway. Number 10, TSM. C, well, that's TSM. Y'all know that. Number 11, Tencent. Number 12, JP Morgan Chase. Number 13, yes. Visa. United, 
uh, number 14, United Health, number 15, Home Depot, number 16, Johnson and Johnson, number 17, Samsung, number 18, Walmart, number 19, mm -hmm. LVMH. Yes. Uh, and number 20 is Kichao Motai. Um, you probably never heard of the company. So I'll give you number That's 21, true. Bank of America. And then number 22, Procter & Gamble. Like, you've heard of these companies. We spoke of them. That's why we talk about ETFs, um, because there are ETF funds that have all these inside of them already. Mm. Already. Like you said, QQQ. Out of that top 10, I think eight, eight of them. Definitely six of them, six are inside of QQQ. You know what I look at? Like, if, <laughs> like they're, if, they're if QQQ or something like that, if that falls, we're all in trouble. It don't even matter. The whole, the whole, the whole economy is falling. So and no matter what you invest. If you are well capitalized, there will be a chance for you to do the Jesse Livermore Templeton strategy and buy up the whole world while the world is on fire and everybody's panicking like the Joker when he blew up the hospital. I'll be like, let me buy up everything across the board and enjoy. You guys have to learn to enjoy crashes, black swan events, and cataclysmic events that set the world on fire. I I'm not going to say it ever again. If we, ha I pray we never go through a depression, but if we do, I'm going to buy all everything east of Chicago. I'm telling you, be prepared. Right now, mark off if the market fell off 90%, where would you look to buy and have some capital there to be ready? That's when the biggest companies and biggest billionaires in a 20 year period get made. It's a game inside of a game. Joe, I'm looking at these charts, man. NVIDIA is heading toward a trillion dollar company. Mm -hmm. Very closely. Like last year was like, it's what, 230 billion? It's very closely headed toward a trillion dollar company in a 16 months. Wow. So I'll tell you guys, you have to build a business to do something that others can't do. Wow. Everybody can talk about investing. Only a few can make people money on demand. Only a few can make chips. Only a few can make fire content and have how many billionaires y'all have had so far? Five? Pick a company wow. with that you can have edge in. Yes. Yes. Who was that? It was Edward, right? Appreciate you. I want to just answer one question from YouTube because we don't really never answer questions from YouTube that much. Somebody said, what is dollar cost averaging? So dollar cost averaging for anybody that's new into investing, any new people that's watching, that's just a strategy when you're putting monthly money in monthly into, well, not just monthly, money in on a dedicated period to, to an investment. So the best example I can give when people are familiar is a 401k. You sign up for a 401k at your job. And they, you know, take $100 out of your paycheck and it goes into the 401k every single time you get paid. So two times a month, $200 goes into the 401k. Um, and then after 30 years, you end up with $300,000 in your 401k. You don't even realize it. Um, that is dollar cost averaging. And the benefit, the benefit of dollar cost averaging is that, you know, you're buying high, you're buying low, but that's why it's called dollar cost averaging over the course of time. Um, you're just consistently putting money into the market and consistently putting money into the investment. And, um, you know, if you're investing in something good, obviously the investment will go up, but it saves you time hassle. It keeps you disciplined. Um, and that's one of the biggest things that keeps people from investing is like, they have a goal. I'm going to put $5,000 in at the end of the year when I get, you know, some money from my bonus. So I'm at the beginning of the year when I get my tax return, but then what happens your tire blows out, your kid, you know, has issues at college, you got to give them money and you want to go on a vacation and then you never have enough money. So, you know, by putting money in every single month, you just learn to live off of a little bit less. And um, that automatically just becomes like a bill. And it just adds up over the course of time. And it's a very efficient way to add to your portfolio and to have money working for you over the course of time. And you have your paperwork straight when it's time to get a divorce. <laughs> <laughs> paperwork good. They already checked that. They checked that. Shout yeah. out to JD Kiss. Mm -hmm. Shout out to Kiss. All right, Janet. Let's All do right, it. Next, we are going to Darlene Jordan. Unmute yourself, please. Hi, Queen. How are you? What's up, Darlene? Good evening. Good evening, gentlemen. How are you? How you doing? Well, before I ask my question, I would like to thank each of you for sharing your gifts and blessings with the world. I just wanted you to know that we appreciate you and thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Appreciate you. Thank you. Thank you so much. My question is, I noticed that Jeff Bezos from Amazon, Elon Musk from Tesla, 
and now Jack Dorsey from Twitter have all mm-hmm. sold a huge amount of their company's stock this month. I wanted to ask if you guys think this is a sign that this is a shift occurring from stock to crypto. Um, no, but it is a sign that a pullback is going to happen. So the number that I'm waiting on is 13. If the total number of billionaires of top 50 companies end up selling, and here's a homework assignment for everyone else. Before the crash of March 2020, how many golden parachutes were there? And how many CEOs sold off more than 10% of their portfolio? That'll tell you when the crash is going to come. But the number for me is 13. Um, so we haven't got there yet. But them selling it off and saying that it's for tax purposes and tax harvesting, that's not the real answer. Um, I, I am concerned, though. I am concerned, for sure. If Buffett unwinds a bit, But even with Berkshire sitting on a bunch of cash, it is very telling as well. People think that he's lost his luster and so is Charlie. They haven't. They've been sitting on a lot of cash for a lot of for a long time. It is for a reason. It's not because when you run a fund, you have to deploy capital. At some point, that happened for a while. Mm-hmm. That is that means that the market is at the top and something is going to happen relatively soon. So when we get to 13, that's when I really panic and I'll tell you guys. Yeah. Good old Berkshire. I looked at it yesterday. Forty four. What is it? Forty four thousand a share. Yeah, that that Apple, that Apple that Apple investment is the gift that keeps paying for them. Mm-hmm. What goes up must come down. You learn that in the basics. That's, mm-hmm. that's physics. Basic rule of physics. Yeah. Yeah. And I'll tell you when it's gonna bounce back up too. So we have each other. We all we got. Darling, that's why we're gonna be ready. We're gonna <laughs> be ready Monday's either way. <laughs> <laughs> Market Mondays for life. The brotherhood. Yep. Blood in, blood out. Yeah. Um, the yeah, excellent question, Darlene. Thank you. Appreciate you, Darlene. All right. Next, we have Dara. Unmute yourself, please. Hey, how's it going, guys? Good. How are What's you? What's going on, man? And Janet, thank you. Hey, you're welcome. I got a quick question. Um, Ian, what are your thoughts on the ne- neodymium? Neodymium? No, I couldn't. What is it? I don't know what it is. I got to research it. It's like a a magnet from like r- rare earth metals. Damn, I've been stumped for the second time this year. <laughs> <laughs> Fucker. Okay. I- I'll be back next week reporting live. <laughs> but li- at least I'm not going to lie to you and be like, oh, this is what I think. Because we know people. Let me, let me play. Let me tell I, you about Neil Dion. Right? I, 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 I've seen Indiana it's Jones like, use it once. You break it. You break it up. <laughs> I know, right? Yeah, can, can, what is, I, can't I can't hear you. I can't hear you. Reporting live. I can't hear you. I'll be back next week. I don't have any thoughts on it, but what? you have given me a homework assignment. Thank you. Can you repeat the question? Janet, mute him. <laughs> <laughs> Block him. He's one of the troublemakers. No, I'm joking. No, you're good. How do you spell it? He was sent. Who sent you? <laughs> uh, N-I-O-D-Y-M-I-U-M. I know that China... China hey, y'all pay us back. What we do to y'all, man? Top. <laughs> Now okay. spell it again. I'm I'm a go- I'm searching it right now. Right. Spell it. Yeah, he asked the, the world's most rarest metal. This is an investment show. Oh, somebody spelled it right. No, 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 no. But 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 it, it ties in to, to make lasers and the yeah, eye surgery. So th- there's a. Um, yeah. Oh, I see it. I see it. A lot of like people use them. Motors, uh, rockets, yeah. ships, stuff like that. I get to get down on my my nerdy bag. Um, dream team. We'll be diving in deep, Tyrone. I'll be messaging you tonight. Uh, I'm gonna get the research team together. Yeah, Today I'm looking. At, are they is are, are, are they illegal? Yeah, uh, China is like the number. Uh, they hold the the number one uh, resources, and then it's us. But um, yeah, right now they're they're trying to use that uh, to build up these uh, EVs, electric vehicle motor. Yeah, and yeah, this is what's part of the uh, parts that's made inside of it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it says. The, I'm looking here. It says the U.S. Uh, Consumer Product Safety Commission is is uh, trying to ban them. So, I, I mean, this is something I'm already appreciate that, man. It's always good to find yeah, out. Thank you, for, thank you, thank you. Somebody hit me in Telegram and told me where I can buy some in Texas. Hey, leave me alone. No, 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 man. Nah. Wrong nah. in. Uh, nope, nope. <laughs> but stumped for the second time this year. I'm, I'm honored. Damn. Okay. <laughs> I don't like well, not. Nah, thank you. Thank you for that question, brother. Uh, you added some value to the show and 
provided information that we wasn't aware of. So, um, yeah, somebody else had did that recently. Um, they, they said something that we wasn't aware of, and it was actually good information for the young man. So it's always good to get yeah. the earners in there. You know, they on the top of their A game. They study, they research, and that's what it's about. That's what it's yeah. about. So appreciate it, brother. Thank, Thank you. you. It's right, illegal, base. though, so be careful. Base, unmute yourself. We are coming to you. BX, what's up? Hey, what's what's going on? How you how doing, you, family? How, how you guys how's doing? Family? Hey, Janet, finally, I finally got the chance to meet you this weekend. I know, it was amazing. <laughs> yes, this whole weekend was amazing. Thank you guys so much. Uh, my question is for the fellas. How do you balance fatherhood with running a business? Mm, I can't wait to talk about this. I'll, I'll start. Troy, I'll start. Yeah. I will start. How do I balance? I have a very, very amazing wife. And she makes this very, very easy for me. Um, and so as far as taking care of the family while I'm not here, she does a tremendous job. Uh, make, so when I'm with them, she's making sure that I'm not just here, but I'm present and I'm engaged with them. Um, and she reminds me of that. Like, she'll definitely remind me, like, yo, check yourself. Let's put the phone down. Um, so that's needed for me. I need that, having a strong balance. Um, and making sure that I have activities that they enjoy, not just mm-hmm. things that I enjoy. Um, and letting them understand that your know, life is a lot different now for daddy. Um, but they're not even oppressed by any of it. Um, and when I'm on the road, making sure that the same things that I did when I was home, I do when I'm on the road. So like if we're in L.A., I'm on FaceTime at 445 in the morning. I'm walking them to the bus. And when they get off the bus, I'm on a FaceTime with them, get off the bus. The other day I was checking homework on the road. Um, so yeah, man, you try to think, keep things as consistent and as normal as possible. Obviously, life is, has has lot has changed over the past two years for my family. So being consistent, but having a strong support unit. My parents are also amazing. Um, my in laws are amazing. I have, a, I have a very strong foundation. So that's how I'm able to balance. Shout out to them. Yeah, I think. Um, I mean, let's be honest. There's there's really the word balance. Is there any real balance in life? I feel like if you run an operation and you, you know, you really striving to be, you know, in the history, um, there is a certain level of unbalancedness, right? It's just, we was on the road for 35 out of the last 45 days. That's not normal. That's not balanced. Mm -hmm. So it's difficult, you know, for me, um, definitely, you know, I wish I can give you like a solid answer, but, you know, try to, whenever I'm home, I try to spend as much time with my son as possible. Um, you know, it's a trade-off, right? Because it's like financially I've been able to provide for him and his mother um, in ways that, you know, are not normal. But being that I'm able to provide for them in that manner means that I'm not there a lot of times as well. So it is a certain sacrifice. And it's like sometimes people want the best of both. Like they want you home. They want you around. But then if you're around, you you can't provide financially. And then if you provide, <laughs> if you provide financially, you might not be around and then your presence is missed. Yeah, so balanced. Yeah, yeah, pick a battle. You got you gotta pick your poison, but it's extremely important to understand if, if you're not there as much as you you need to be to let them know that you're just not there just because you know you're just running around having a good time. You're there actually, you know, helping people and providing a legacy that is gonna make their life easier. And hopefully, mm-hmm. you know, they understand that. Um, because you know it's it's important to be there in a child's life, but it's also important to take care of a child financially and make sure that their life is as easy as possible. So the only way that you can do that in this world is to have money. Um, so yeah, balance is something that I'm personally still still yeah, trying to, you know, figure it out. Yeah. Um, for me, and hopefully it's the answer that, that you will help you. I, I don't know your financial situation, but um Everyone in your business has to know that your kid comes first. So for me, for the, I've missed a ton of stuff. Uh, meeting Drake, all kind of celebrity parties, all kind of. That's why I tell you guys, if you email me, I'll Ian's re- slow to reply. I'm with my kid. Don't care. You have to pick. And like Shadi said, like, if you want to do business and take care of your kid, it's a tough balance because men are often thanked last. And Chris Rock has that great joke that only women and children are loved and unconditionally men are loved based on what they can do. It's true. You can be present all the time and bring in no money and you're the worst person on earth or you can provide everything and be gone. Could be the worst person on earth, right? That's a but fact. Me, that's, that's real. Like I've that's done things for people that's never been done before or after. And, you know. <laughs> that's a fact. <laughs> that's a so, fact. Um, and this is no slight to anyone that I know personally. I love everyone. I love you. Um, but you have to realize and tell people like 
even coming back today, it was a whole. I was supposed to talk to United Masters about the, the rollout for Saturday. I'm like, yo, I'm just got on a plane, haven't talked to my kid today. I'm going to talk to him, take a shower, get ready for the show. Don't care. Xander be there, our, our Basel. Like, you have to put your child first. Now, like Rashad said, the balance thing, and this is why I appreciate my parents so much post having a child. I tell my mom all the time, like, sorry, I take out the trash. You, man, you can throw on the food on the floor when I come home and I'll eat it off the floor. Like, I'm so appreciative. There is no balance. But when you're there with your kid, it has to be all in on them all the time. And like Troy said, the kids don't give a damn about what you're doing. Like, he was excited that I met the guy from Jumanji, Kevin Hart, right? He didn't care about me being on Comedy Central. He like, that Star Club heard it. Dad, this is so boring. Oh, why are you on here with him? I'm yo, like, yeah, damn. That, yo, yo I, I try to get my son to come. I'm like, come watch this. We're going to be on TV. We were doing a revolt episode. Okay. He came in the living room and looked at me and said, Dad, I already saw you on TV, man. I don't want to see this. They take like, it for granted. <laughs> like what? Yes, they re- they really do. Yeah, but be there because at yeah, the end of the there, day, when your son get, or child get older, they're not going to remember what work you did. They're going to remember were you there. And a lot of times, if we grew up and had money trauma and we didn't have all the money we wanted, let's be real. As long as our parents don't panic, the kids are good. Kids, like mm-hmm. unless the kids are starving, they don't know. Be present. Yeah. Pick your kids first. And some people may not like it, but I'm telling you. The best decision I made was to put him first over everything and not give a damn what anybody else said. The, 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 the one thing I always remind myself is that they never asked for, for their dad not to be there. Facts. Um, but so you got to explain to them why, right? Like my daughter, right? Like yesterday, she's Google searching herself. I said, why are you searching your name? She was like, because when I search you, things come up, your pictures come up. And I want my picture to come up. <laughs> That's not quite how it works. They don't want what comes with this. <laughs> it's, not, it's not quite how it works, but mm-hmm. yeah, they didn't ask for that. They really just want their dad to be there. Um, and so like, anytime we, we can be there, we have to be there. Um, and even when we're not, we, we, we got to make sacrifices with our time to make sure that we tap in with them as much as possible. Yeah. yeah. That's an honest answer. Hey. Appreciate that question, man. Nobody asked. You. you know what? I appreciate that question because people forget that part of it. They just like, yo, they coming on at eight o'clock. Like they forget that there's a family. Why are you guys sons, late? And daughters, why? Like, wives. And, like, yo, and, why? Why you look tired? Yo, bro, we just flew across the world. I actually parent. Yeah. <laughs> and my kids haven't seen me. Like, so I appreciate that question, boss. Yeah. And people don't have a full appreciation of work. They think like if we just travel around that we just having fun. But of course we all having fun, but it's also work as well. So, you know, it's, say it's that something. again, man. No, don't don't. Say it's that all again. work. Yeah, it's work. <laughs> it's work. You know, we yeah. in, we in, we in we in you know Atlanta, Miami, even our Basel. Like we're gonna have a good time, but it's work. Like yeah. this is part of building a brand. This is part of you know making history. And um, you know, a lot of people, mm-hmm. everybody's not meant to make history. Um, but the, the select few people that are meant to make history, um, there's tremendous sacrifices. And I remember when Troy was a teacher and I told him, I don't know if he still remembers this, but, uh, he was, he was kind of going back and forth about quitting his job. And I told him, and there's no disrespect because I love teachers. My mom is a teacher, but I said, anybody could be a, a gym teacher. Not everybody can change the world. And you have an opportunity you gonna to change quit the world. saying my guy was just a, come on, nah, man. He said, he said it earlier, man. I forget. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're going to laugh. Yeah, physical education teacher. I told them, but I'm like, yo, everybody. And when I say anybody can do that, I'm not saying that it's an easy job. I'm just saying that anybody can go to school and do it. Yeah, that's just the reality. But not not everybody has an opportunity to change the world. And I knew I knew early on that we had an opportunity to change the world. I knew he had an opportunity to change the world. So I was telling them that sometimes you got to sacrifice. Like even if you look at like leaders, like right, like Martin Luther King, Malcolm X, like they sacrifice time with their family, they sacrifice their lives for the greater good of the people. So it's like, you got an opportunity to teach millions of people how to make money. This is changing. This is life changing. T- do it for the family. Like I, I get the whole culture thing and for the people, man, do it for the family first. Cause we had a very unique opportunity to be at the forefront of this when COVID hit. Imagine yeah. if we would have waited nine weeks. And, that's why I always say, you, when you, the time is, you always have to be on top of your game cause you're going to get presented the opportunity when you're least prepared for it. Yeah. 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 Yep. It's a fact. Yeah. Yep. I, can't, I can't agree more. He's that right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But sure. everything, everything, everything plays a part in it. And so everything that we've been through from going to school, from working, being a teacher, you being a funny, it prepared us for this moment, like all of it. And I think I was talking to somebody the other day, they had just started a podcast and they were like, uh, you know what? 
I didn't realize how much work is put into this. Watching you guys, you make it look so easy. <laughs> and I'm like, it's the hardest part of my yeah, work. It may come off like that, but like, yo, for one pocket, like we like literally uh doing the research on the person, setting up the interviews. If we have to travel, we travel. There's a lot that goes into it. Now that's just for earn your leisure. Then we got to prep for market money, which is another show. I don't and know how you got, guys do it all. It's I mean, six days. Village, and, and then also show. us not growing up together, knowing each other, to trust that yeah. I would be on top of my shit all the time. Like, it's different. There is a it's balance. This, well, I'm like, you guys think you want the seat? I'm like, when I'm done Tuesday, I'll start research for the next. For then you to tell me it doesn't work when I'm free off of my blueprint. What? <laughs> Raise your hand if you can invest and trade for a living and don't have to do anything else. Follow the leader, man. We're here to help. We're not doing any talking. We're going to get coins this decade. No more debating. No more debating. No more. That was pineapple in my cup. Yeah, yes. let's take one, one more question. But before we do, before we do, I want to just do this before I forget. So if you was at the Apollo yesterday, Ian had uh, um, alluded to it early on. So um, he did an on-stage um, offering for Stock Club, which was um, like Amazing. the Black Friday sale, $300 a month. But it's also locked in for life. You lock, you lock that price in for life. Um, so I'll put the link, um, on YouTube. And then I'll also put the link in the description. If you want, I don't really have to explain what stock club is. If, if you've watched the episodes, you kind of know what stock club has, um, a reputation for and what it is, you know, great entries as a community It's red Panda. The best the program on earth. If you want to get rich, if I made you so, money, put yes more, in Bam. Put yes yes in chat. Put yes in chat. The show getting better. This show getting better every week. <laughs> oh, wait till my. I get my whole show. Wait till Styles learn the verse. Game couldn't even make it. Wait till I get my whole show. Jada, where's my verse? I love. I need my verse. <laughs> where is future? my verse? Future. Hey, yo, I, what are we doing? I saw the, yo, I saw the producer list you put oh, out, well, man. Yo, that was, Blaze, that's just, strong. Just Blaze is going to be in Miami. I was thinking so this, I, and in. after this, call, text Ross now, too, please. I'm, I don't call for no favors. <laughs> Rose, what are we doing, baby? Come on. Oh, that's too, too easy. That's too easy. Too easy. We could do that. Too easy. You should have asked earlier. That's too easy. You Family. know what? And I'm going to say this, too. East Coast rappers move faster because when I get to Atlanta, Memphis, boy, them boys going to throw... Nine, ten songs on at a time. Quit playing. <laughs> Quit playing. Hey, Fat Joe, hey, I you, appreciate you. You know, you know, uh, the biggest boss, Rick Ross. He go. He's in Miami, right? He got a. He got an album that's dropping in a few days. Yeah, absolutely. So, uh, oh yeah, we gonna link up. Stay close. Stay, stay close to. <laughs> yeah. Shout out to Ross. Shout out to the whole team, man. That, those are Lex. Guys. What up? Shout out to Alex. Shout out to Lex. Good dude. So yeah, so I pinned. I pinned the link to um the stock club. The offer that was made on sale at the Apollo. And then it's also in the description of this YouTube video as well. If you want to take advantage of that limited time off, I believe it's like 24 hours, something like that. Um, so, yeah, you can click the link. And um, if you want to join Stock Club, you can join Stock Club. for Please don't kind of join price. so you can play the full price. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, let's, let's, get, let's get one more question if you can. All right, Annette, unmute yourself, please. Hello. Hey, how you guys. Are you me? Yes, how are I'm you? I'm good. Hey, Annette. I, hi, I am a new earner. So glad to be Welcome a part to the of this. Welcome. Thank you. Thank you for holding that Black Friday special. <laughs> oh, yeah. Um, I have a lot of stocks that's all over the place. My portfolio is a mess. Um, I have some decent ones. I have Tesla, a couple of Moderna, Apple. Keep those. Keep but those. okay. But my bad ones, I have like over 15, 16. I just don't know what to do with. They fail over 50%. Don't know if I should hold them because I hate losing money mm -hmm. or if I should should at least break even or just get rid of them. Take the well, loss. What we're going to do, what we should do whenever we have a bad book, we got to let them go. Block, delete, never again. Which ones you have? I have uh, some Neo, DraftKings, uh, Future Fintech. Well, what, what price you get into Neo? Neo was kind of high. I got in at like $50. Mm -hmm. And it's down to 40. Well, that's not bad. You can hold on for another five months. You'll break even. You'll be good. DraftKings, what price? I hope so. DraftKings, uh, 52. It's it. down to 35. Cut that gotta one. Cut it. Mm -hmm. cut it. Cut it. Uh, cut it. Cut it. <laughs> Planeteer, <laughs> I have. Cut it. Future Fintech. What about Future Fintech? Uh, that's well, like a mess. What's the ticker for it? FTFT. No, oh no, we gotta let that go. 
Yeah, we got oh, yeah. Oh, dropped oh, like a bad habit. That's like all the way down. Yes. Yeah, when did you get in on that one? Future FinTech, I got in at four dollars. Oh, it's not that bad. I mean, it's down a lot, but yeah, you got to cut it. It is down a lot. Mm, it could be worse. Well, yeah. they could, they could go the back bottom, down to the low 40, 40 yeah, like zero, like zero. Is well, a, let me ask you yeah. this: what, what made you invest in these companies? Listening to YouTube, people on YouTube, following people I shouldn't have. We're didn't here know to what save to you do. Now. I hope now. so. I, I appreciate help. you taking the effort. Cut those and pour more to the ones that are winning. Let's check back in three months and six months. If you're not um, doing better than you were before, I'll write you a check to offset whatever yeah. you're down. That's and Annette, I'm, I, Annette I'm, I'm in DraftKings. You're new to, to this, but I love DraftKings. Uh, I'm long-term on that, though. Um, I, I know that you got in at a high position. Um, yeah, 52 so, hours. So, yeah. Uh, so I'm, how many shares did you get? I only have, like, 10. Okay. Oh, okay. Okay. All right. I don't feel that as bad. Yeah, I'm long-term can, can, can we give her, are you, did you come to the Apollo show? I didn't. I couldn't make it. Can, can um, we give her a scholarship ticket to the um, Houston show? And we can put her in a sniper as well. Yeah, for you. Yeah, sure. Ooh. Annette, where, where are you located, Annette? Detroit. I met you at the, uh, the uh, what's the name? The we network, were here. The networking event? Yeah, the networking oh, event, oh. yes. Oh, what up, though? What up, Got though? a couple pictures with you guys. All of you guys. Uh, yeah, uh, let's help her out. One of my favorite cities. Yeah. So Houston, we going, we got you. Oh, cool. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Thank you. Yes. Appreciate you. Appreciate Thank you. you. We, so got, we, got to update, we got to update our picture. I, I like that. Every time we go to a different place, they're like, Joe, I got a picture with you in LA. All right. right. So let's take one in New York. Let's take one in New York. <laughs> everywhere. <laughs> let's, everywhere we go, let's do it. We're going to NFT it. <laughs> yes. That is a deal. That is a deal. Thank, Thank you so you. much. Yeah. Welcome. Thank Family. you so much. Yeah, I do. I hey, Annette, do, do me a favor. This. Do me a favor. Annette, yes. can you do me a favor? This yes. Sunday at three o'clock, I need you to come to the book club because it's going to be incredible. I know you knew, but this Sunday we got something special planned for the book club. Charlamagne the God will be there. So make sure you're there. Okay. I will definitely be there. Party. What time is the listen party, Jen? On Thursday and Friday from 12 to 2. I know it's early. But that's what we're having it this week. So, hope Jan, you guys love having it. a good listening party. Yeah, remind me for that. What time is the book club meeting? Uh, three o'clock Sunday. Sunday? I, yeah. I'm gonna be in there for that. I'm gonna wow. be in Miami. But I'm gonna G, be in what Miami. up? Shout out to Greg. Shout out to Greg. I'm gonna be in Miami. I'm gonna be in Miami, but I got it. You ready? He said you're gonna be ready. have Charlemagne in, and I can't. I gotta be there for that. That's definitely legendary. Um, yeah. Once again, if you if you just came in late, um, the sniper you will be added by Friday. Xavier, I'm not simping out here. I'm giving back to the people and making people millions. I'll see you on YouTube. Hey, uh, Troy Rashad, can we block him? Can I wield my executive powers? Xavier, let's I didn't get him out of here. I'll start. Right. Red Panda family, screenshot it. Okay, we got it. Well, they got him. I see him. I see him. I see him. I see him. All right, we got it. We got it. You got him? Yeah. Ruling with the iron fist of this era. Sandman, I'm, come get him. I'm, I'm on my <laughs> Xi Jinping China thing. Okay, We're going to be quiet. If the queen is down and I help her, how is that simping? Boy, don't make me get a your girl DM. Leave me alone. Oh, we're reading Shook One by Charlemagne. People are asking. You're going to be shook. Shout out to Charlemagne. <laughs> and, and <the> time, <laughs> everybody <laughs> at Black Effect. <laughs> this this is me. my comedy routine. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be our boss. Shout out to the good Different. folks at Ally. Shout out to our, our good corporate Boy, friends at Ally. Shout out to your life. <laughs> Good corporate on vacation. Nine months straight. Leave me alone. Yo, Shit, pineapple man. juice in yes. is different. Shoot at your girl. Shout, Shout out Chad, girl. Carlos, everybody at 85. 85 BCO South. Legends of the South. Help me work That's... on my joke routine. These are just jokes. Ha ha. <laughs> Ready to pod. <laughs> Shout out Corey and Joe. Shout out to the guys. Shout out to 85 South, man. That's a fact. That's a fact. Family right there. Um, yep. 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 <laughs> <laughs> All oh, right. Man. They said, when will the pineapple juice return? Ah, oh, man. Oh, Shout out man. to the pineapple juice. This is Ally here. Punch. Uh, Shout out to Ally. <laughs> uh, NFT. He wants Yo, the best returns in the market. I mean, need well, I was Punch. speaking about them. So this episode of uh, Market Money is brought to you by <laughs> Ally Financial. They are the leading <laughs> financial service company with passionate customer service and innovation, innovative financial solutions. They are relentlessly focused on doing it right. 
and being a trusted financial service provider for both customers and communities get with ally we are this this week this weekend it's gonna be crazy to make the most of your money so you can save invest and spend on the things that matter to you shout out to them and i saw Jack was going to be on the panel. Shout out to Jack. Um, we met her in Detroit. Yeah, She's going to be on the panel. Super, Shout out to Erica. Super, super, I'm sure she's pulling up. Super dope. Yeah, it's going to be dope. Yes, yes. Um, okay. Um, <laughs> Houston, Texas. Houston, Texas is the next stop on the Market Mondays tour. Go to marketmondays.com right now and get your tickets. Yep. Um, Houston, you've been warned. You have enough. Uh, January 21st, January 22nd. Um, mm-hmm. legendary situation. We don't really have to talk too much about it. You saw the pictures, you saw the visuals of what happened at the Apollo. So Houston, Texas is one of our biggest markets. It's always love in Houston. Um, Houston is a vibe. So Houston, Texas, me, the whole, the Dallas, everybody always asks, when you come to Dallas, not sure. But I'm it's, slide through. Yes, it's not that far. It's not that far from Houston. So in Houston. If you are in <laughs> Dallas, if you are in Houston, if you're in Fort Worth, any surrounding areas yeah, yeah. in Texas. Somebody said everybody back, in Port Arthur, slide oh, through. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Everything's a going Houston. Oklahoma. Oh, yeah. I don't think any vax card is required in no, Houston, you don't Texas. No, nothing. You good. Yeah, everything. No mask, is nothing. Everything a go. This is not Harlem. Um, everything <laughs> is a go. <laughs> um, and by the way, that vax card situation was not us. It's New York City has a vax card mandate. So mm-hmm. if you're in New York City and you're going, this is why Kyrie Irving cannot play basketball right now. If you're in New York City and you're going to an event in New York City, have a vax card. It's not It's not the promoter's fault. It's not the venue's fault. It is the government of New York City that has put that in place. And we can't do anything about it. That's it. Yeah. yeah. We abide by the rules wherever we are. Um, or by his citizens. That's it. So, um, once again, Ian Stock Club sale is ianinvest.com. Um, I pinned the link in YouTube and then I also put it in the description. Um, we will be in Art Basel uh, December 2nd, December 3rd, and December 4th, which is Thursday, Friday, and Saturday this week. Shout out to United Master, shout out to Ally. We have all day activations. Mm-hmm. Ian will be there. Um, just Blaze will be DJing one day. Manny Fresh will be DJing one day. DJ Irie will be DJing one day. Mm-hmm. A long list of DJs, musical performances. We will be doing panel panel discussions. We will be doing fireside chats mm-hmm. from 3 o'clock to 11 o'clock ten, every three single ten, day. Three, ten, three, ten. 3 to 10 every single day. We will have the most lit activation in Art Basel history. It will be legendary. It will be talked about. So do not miss it. Get there early. RSVP. Go to earnyourleisure.com. Hit the Art Basel tab and RSVP. Don't play yourself. And how much is it again? Three ninety nine. Oh. Perfect. For the culture. Better. And oh. free ally punch wherever you see me. <laughs> <laughs> on, on Ian. Yes, on me. Yeah. He'll be Chef Curry with the pot. Yeah. Double cup. Oh, oh, man. Shout man. out to Weezy. <laughs> Shout out to Weezy. Oh. Uh, all right, all right. Another legendary moment. Um, another let oh, one more thing before we leave. Shout out to my brother MG the mortgage guy and shout out to Chase. We are doing, I'll talk about this more next week, but we're doing a free real estate expo in Oakland, California on December 11th. You can go to our website under the events tab to sign up. And that is going to be an all-day real estate expo on how to buy a home, how to get financing to buy the home, um, tips. We will bring realtors from the area, we will bring loan officers. Every single thing that you need to know how to get into real estate, how to invest in real estate. It's the first time we've ever done something like this ever. And um, it is free. And the reason why we chose Oakland, California is because out of all the places that we have been to, Oakland has shown us the most love. I never saw anything like that before. We did a networking event and the line was yeah. five blocks long. I have never seen anything yeah. like that. They thought the Beatles was home. Um, so <laughs> to repay. I to repay you guys are coming to Rhode Island too. I don't know about Rhode Island, but who, shout out to Rhode who, who Island. Said that? Who said that? Shout out to Rhode Island. <laughs> I'm speaking it into existence. We have to check. We have to check yeah. the man. But to pay our debt of gratitude to the Bay Area, we're going to do a free event. So go to our events tab and um, tap in. It's going to be yeah. Legendary. We got a few cities. Mark Amadeus there too. There's going to be gonna a there's going to be a few cities that are uh, are going to be put on on notice in the next few few weeks. Uh, definitely at the top of 2022. Maybe we'll announce some of them. But some of these cities we haven't gone to before, so it's going to be incredible to touch 
touch uh, the cities throughout the country and throughout the world. I'm about man. to say throughout the world. Throughout the world, it's going to be it's on. I know people keep putting the Canada flag. Trust me, as soon as we can get to Toronto, we will be Toronto, in Toronto. But they got strict vax. Rules. They just they don't want us there. there. New York, New York, New York got vax rules. Toronto got the yeah. real vax rules. They got the real vaccination rules. We got call. We got call Drake. There's only one person too. Cool. Yeah. They got to keep the boys safe. The six guard. Yeah, the six yeah. guard. That's the only person to call. Oh, uh, London, t- London. Stay tuned. L.A. Stay tuned. They see us there. Oh, you never know. You never know. Shout out to Kanye. Shout out to Drake. Shout out to Jay Prince. Free Larry Hoover concert. It's going to be legendary. Larry Leisure Boys will be there. So I hear. <laughs> so I hear. So I hear. Stock Club. No, no stop call. No Stock Club call tonight. We'll be back uh, Saturday, December 4th, before I do my presentation at our Basel. Shout out to... Uh, United Masters and the good folks at Ally. I'm gonna put on a show. So no, no call tonight. We'll be back Saturday. Love you guys dearly. Hey yo, real quick. I know it's the holiday season and I know I probably haven't said this in a few weeks, but yes, it's a time to spend with family and friends, but there are some of us who did not have any of those things to share it with. So I want you to please, please do me a favor. Please reach out to somebody you haven't talked to spoke to in a while. Reach out to a family member or a friend. Um, one conversation, one text message, you know, you don't understand the power of it. One text message can really change somebody's day, somebody's life. I encourage you to do that. Shout out to all my educators. I ran into a bunch of y'all. Y'all know I love y'all. I am encouraging all my entrepreneurial friends. Please. Can you do me a favor this holiday season? Please pick a school, pick a school and donate to that school, choose a school, sponsor a school, help some kids out. Y'all. Yeah. I, I know, uh, our teachers are going through it, but our kids are the most important asset to our community, to the growth of our world. Please, if you can, if you're fortunate enough, please find a school, donate yep. to a school or sponsor a school. It's the giving season. We will be doing that. Uh, we're doing something with our, our, our high school and our community. So please, we encourage y'all. Love y'all. Yeah. Easy Central Bishop No, Hit me. I'll be doing something special for y'all real soon. Uh, DB, we got fun. something on the way. Yep. Shout out to our school district. I was about to say something, but shout out Come to Come on. Shout out to... <laughs> no, 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 no. Don't do that. Don't no, no, do that. Shout out to our school. Shout out to Jamal's school board. Shout out to shout out to everybody out there, man. We do have vending machines in our school, so we appreciate you for letting us put us If me, machine. Shadi, and Troy ever get spicy at the same time, <laughs> break the internet. I'll I'm shut the phone down. <laughs> uh... I'm going to go. Well, I'm banned from IG Live, too. I'll find it right <laughs> on Telegram. Yeah. Ban from TV. All right, guys. Um, we'll see you tomorrow. Yes, check out our episode tomorrow with Davido. Shout out to Nigeria. Shout out to Lego. Shout out to the whole crew. Big Bizzle. Lego's tomorrow, eight o'clock. We got the legend Davido. Um, we're gonna be talking about Africa. So we're going to Africa tomorrow, man. Tap in. Um, see you guys in Miami. Stay safe and uh love yeah. is love. Love is love, y'all. Peace. Get some rest. Jenna, where you get them glasses from? I'm serious. I need she never, she never answered the question. I, I, answer I will answer it. Hold on. Let me and check privately, my email. Thank you. Thank <laughs> you got to check her email. And once again, rest in peace to the legend, the legend, the legend, uh, Virgil Abloh. And rest in peace to Young Dolph also. And rest in peace to Young Absolutely. Dolph. And happy birthday. We didn't say this last week. Happy birthday to my guy, the young legend from Baltimore, Nacho Banger. Nacho Banger. Oh, yeah, it's yeah, a yeah, banger birthday. for real. Yeah. Black support better than the child support, y'all. That's his line. I love it. I love that dude. His energy is incredible. Shout out to my boy, Derek Falcon, on the check-in. I spoke to him the other day. Them dudes is incredible, man. Before we leave, I want to just say something. We was in Lagos, Nigeria. We had a networking event, and we met a gentleman from another part of Nigeria. Um, and He came, and he flew in for the networking event, and he said, Yo, y'all did, a, y'all did an interview with somebody from Nigeria that was dope, and y'all interviewed. He said, but my favorite interview ever was Nacho Banger. He was like, because he talked that street shit. He was like, that's something I could relate to. And that was just so mind blo- mind blowing for me because I'm like, here's a kid from East Baltimore that is inspiring somebody from Nigeria. Mm-hmm. And uh, Nacho, if you know his story, he, oh. didn't, he didn't have a lot growing <laughs> up. And I'm really, really proud of that brother, man. So shout out to Nacho Banger. Shout out to his mentor, Derek Falcon. Shout out to our whole Baltimore crew. Shout out to West Baltimore. Shout out to East Baltimore. You, if you know me, you know I used to go to school in Maryland. Spent a lot of time in Baltimore. I got a lot of love for Baltimore. So shout out to B-more. Yeah, man. It's a banger for real. Yes. Sauce. 
Culture <laughs> travels internationally, man. That's, That's a, a fact. fact. That's a yeah. fact. All right. All right. We out. Jed, we'll see you. Peace. Bye, guys. Peace.